Kaylee, why don't you do my hair when you're done? There's going to be no Macintosh today. We need to come up with a nickname for you and I. Live now. All right, we are live, <coughs> and we've got 12 people already. Hey, everybody, this is Jim coming to you live from London, Kentucky at Games and Comics right here off of Main Street here, our new location. I guess it's still new. I guess we still call it new. I'm here with uh, Andrew and McKaylee, and we are here to see what we can find for you to sell, for you to buy, have some fun. Uh, it's a nice day outside. You can see the sun coming in through the window here, and I'm bringing you up here on my phone so I can see what everybody's saying, good or bad. Hey, there's Chris. Well, where'd my, where'd my feed go? There it is. There's Colin. Sorry, I thought I said Chris. There's Colin and Wiley. Hey, and everybody wished, wish Andrew a happy birthday. His birthday is going to be tomorrow. Is it tomorrow or Monday, Andrew? It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow's Andrew's birthday. But we're not. Well, the store is going to be open, but we're not going to be live to wish Andrew a happy birthday. So everybody tell uh, Andrew happy birthday when you get a chance. He's going to be how oh, sweet 16, right? Holy cow. We're going to have another driver on the road, too. We already got 15 people. That's good. Uh, you know what? From I don't know if you guys were watching last night, but uh, the books that are out now are the same. I'm assuming are the same books that Jason who left who left us last night. Uh, so I just left those out and thought, hey, I'll give you guys another chance to uh, buy anything that's that was left over from last night. Uh, and I'll go over what's up there in just a minute. But um, I was just gonna let a few more people come on. I'll go. I'll come around and and see if uh, see if anybody logs on here real quick. Although 17 people, that's pretty good for a Saturday afternoon. What's it? What is today's date anyway? The 26th. It's our, wow. It's already the end of August. Holy cow! It's soon it's gonna be September, and the leaves are gonna be changing. Where did the summer go? What's everybody doing today, by the way? Let us know what you're up to on this Saturday afternoon. Hopefully you're not in Texas getting hammered by a hurricane. Wiley went to the flea market. Wiley, you, you found uh, by productive, I assume you mean you found some good buys, maybe some old comics or something? That would be cool. I don't much care for flea markets, but I do like trying to find good lost comics that have been sitting in a box somewhere and got an un oh wow how much you pay for that 
if you don't mind, Wiley, did they know? Was this in like in a dollar box or something? Colin is tuning in from the UK. That's awesome. <coughs> Wiley, did you get a good deal on that uncanny? Did they know that they were selling it to you as an uncanny X Men 266? Oh, okay, they knew. Well, 60 bucks. Hopefully, it was in good shape. Uh, we were selling, <coughs> I think, some uh, uncanny 266 slabs not too long ago for like 250 bucks or something. Yeah, it's too bad. You know what's the best is when you can go to a flea market and you find a book like that in the dollar bin or something. That's pretty awesome. Those are hard to find these days, though. All right, I'm going to come around here and tell you guys what is up front, get you guys a good idea. Uh, if you have any requests, let us know. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, most of the time when people start watching the show for the first time or when we first start, most of the people are people that's, that's seen us before. But if you've never watched us before and you're curious what we're doing, let us know. I'm not going to bore everybody that is regulars on what we're doing here. But I will say that this is a sale, not an auction. And uh, if you need more help to say, hey, why are these? Why is this guy standing in front of a camera with comics with numbers on it? I'll let you know. Um, so let me tell you what's up front here. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. All right, we're just going to start over here at the far right. Uh, last night, uh, Jason had found some killer books in our vault, uh, including, and I think he sold them already, uh, the first appearance of Harley Quinn. That was pretty awesome. Uh, but this book here was one of the books that he found, uh, this Batman and Robin Adventures. That's number two for four bucks. Here, here's the Spectacular Spider-Man. Got this cool chromium cover, number 189. Uh, this you can probably see that this chromium thing going on here. Uh, that's seven bucks. Here's a web of Spider-Man. I hadn't seen that one in a long time. Looks like it's got a, some sort of a chromium thing on. Back in those '90s, man, they were putting everything out with those chromium stuff going. Uh, that's web of Spider-Man number 117. Here's Deadpool, a recent book. Um, I forgot the artist's name, Dugan. I think he does uh, Ghost Rider now, but he was dead doing Deadpool for a while. Uh, that's Deadpool number 11 for five bucks. Uh, this is Cable, number 82. Uh, of course, Cable's going to be in the new uh, Deadpool movie. That's $4. Thor, this is a variant edition of this issue. This is uh, Thor, number 6, uh, back when Mike Straczynski was writing it. Uh, he was the guy that uh, created Babylon 5. He started doing comics. Now I think he only does comics now. Uh, here is uh, Blackest Night Batman, 1, 2, and 3. A whole set for 15 bucks. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is uh, a book by Avatar. We're going to have several uh, horror type books out today. Uh, this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What number is that? Issue number three for five bucks. Here's an older uh, early Bronze Age uh, Marvel double feature featuring Captain America and Iron Man. Number nine for seven bucks. Condition's not bad. It's probably about a six, how it looks like. And here's a Transformers. Uh, Transformers number zero. Uh, back when Transformers was with, um, I think it was called Dreamweaver Comics uh, for six bucks. And over here in the Zoom window, uh, this book we've had out a couple times. I thought I'd put it back out just to see if anybody's interested. This is uh, Brave and the Bold. Uh, what number is that? Issue number 61. And uh, this is the first appearance of the Black Canary and uh, the origin of the Black Canary and Starman. So that's why that's 175. Uh, it usually goes for like 250 or so, but the condition uh, is probably about um, probably about a six, I would give it. So that's 175 right there. If you guys want to see that close up even closer than what it already is, let me know. All right, so that's what we got out there now. If you guys have any requests, let me know. Uh, we'll try and get it out for you. I can't promise you anything, but I'll do my best. Uh, Wiley says he got a 268 first Jim Lee Captain America for a buck. That's pretty cool. I don't know what it goes for, but that's pretty cool to have, even if you just got it for a dollar. Brian gets the first buy of the day, Chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw Massacre for five bucks to Brian. Thanks, Brian. Of course, we'll have some giveaways later. 
I like to try and do a giveaway like once an hour or so. Um, I just do them randomly. I don't care about how many you know viewers we might have or how much we sell. I'm just going to do it randomly. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going to give away. Maybe give a trade or a pop or something away. If you guys have any ideas, throw them at me. We'll, we'll put something out there. I said I had some horror books today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, this is a book called from Marvel Comics. Uh, looks like it's from the mid '80s or so. Called Terror. This is Terror number eight, and we're gonna put that out for four bucks. Uh, looks like Santa. It's about to go all postal on some little thieves at Christmas time. That's cool. Okay. Uh, I've got, I pulled a bunch of stuff today myself. Um, I got some. Oh man, I've got some golden age stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put out here in a little bit. Brian gets terror for four. Uh, yeah, I've got some. Uh, Golden Age stuff, which you guys, it's just some offbeat stuff. I don't know. I just, it's the old, like from the 50s, some comics from the 50s. These books are like 60 years old um, from 1956, 58, something like that. Older than me. That's pretty old. All right, we'll do another terror book. This is uh, Terror. Uh, with Silver Sable, Silver Sable, and Cage, Luke Cage. Have you guys been watching uh, the Netflix um, Defenders? You watch that, Andrew? I haven't got a chance to. Yet. I just watched the first episode last night. I was so tired, I kind of fell asleep during half of it. I'm not, that's not to say that it's boring. I was just really tired. Uh, but I will say that it started with Iron Fist in the first episode, the first scene. And I was so bored by Iron Fist when I watched that one. I was like, oh, man, that's what we're starting with was Iron Fist. No, he bores me so bad. So that may have started my night of, <laughs> of falling asleep on watching the Defenders. But, hey, there's Rob Havoc. How you doing, buddy? Have I, I don't think I've met Rob. Has Rob been on here when I've, when I've done the show? I don't think so. Good to see you on here, though. Was Rob on here yesterday? Cool. Of course, I'm only on here once once a week now, so I don't get to see everybody like I used to. Well, even at that, I was only doing it two days a week. So, I don't get to see everybody like Jason does. Rob just found us four days ago. Where are you from? Where are you from, Rob? If I may ask. Well, thanks, Rob. Rob, is that your real last name, Havoc? Because if, that, if that's your real last name, that's pretty cool. I'd love to have a last name that is South Florida. Rob, we just started for today. We started at 3 o'clock today. Of course, we start at 3 o'clock most days. On Saturday, we're going to go from 3 to 11. We'll take a little break here and there. We're going to have uh, some giveaways. Uh, we're going to have all kinds of cool stuff out. Uh, if you're just joining us like Rob... I have out now pretty much the same stuff that Jason left us with, what left you guys with last night. Uh, I was a little lazy. I didn't want to clear the board. I thought, hey, I'll give these guys one more chance to uh, get the same items that were out last night. And uh, so I'm not going to leave them up very long. Ah, uh, I see. You know, I should probably do the same thing. I need to come up with like a... A name for my page to use, like Johnny Danger or something. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start switching some of these out. This Batman and Robin Adventures is still cool. Uh, this came out around the time that the uh, first Harley came out that Jason found last night. Uh, I'm going to put out a Wolverine. This is Wolverine number 47. And I am going to put it out for $4. Spectacular Spider-Man. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and reduce this price on this one. Instead of $7, 
I'm going to take it down to five. I'd rather just sell this stuff inst and then instead of putting it back in the box. So that book is now seven bucks. Uh, just a reminder, that book over there in the Zoom window, way down there, uh, that is the first, uh, that is the origin story of Black Canary and Starman, and it's 175 that's why it is marked that much. Uh, that's uh, Brave and the Bold, number 61. Again, if you guys are looking for anything in particular, let me know. I'm just going to put stuff out that I like or that I've seen that you that I think you might like. All right. What do we got over here? Oh, another web Spider-Man. And this is number 117, and I'm going to take it down from 6 to 4. Ah, Deadpool. Uh, I'm just going to take this one down from 5 to 4 also. Oh, cool. Thanks, Brian. Uh, this Deadpool is now four bucks. It was five. We got here Cable. This was when Cable, this is guest starring Nick Fury. Cable was one of the more, I don't know what's happened to him. He well, used to be one of the more prominent uh Characters in the Marvel Universe, at least in the Marvel Mutant Universe. Ah, this this is a cool cover. This Thor, uh, the Thor variant edition of number six. This is an Arthur Adams cover. I love Arthur Adams. I am only going to lower this one buck because I'm going to put this back in the in the bin. But seven dollars, you can have that Thor. Uh, what is this here? Oh, Batman Blackest Night. This set here, I'm going to let it go, instead of $15, I'm going to go 12 on it. $12 for Batman, Blackest Night, 1, 2, and 3, full set there. And one more down here. Oh, this is Terror. I just put that one out. I'm going to put another Terror out. Brian wants Batman for 12. Thanks, Brian. Brian's killing it already this morning. He may have had that, that uh, other terror already. So I'm going to put one more out. This is terror um, number 13. Secrets revealed, evil unleashed, and the Ghost Rider. All in one issue. Uh, $4 for terror. What we got up here? Oh, Marvel Double Feature. Marvel Double Feature is not seven anymore. It is now five. And it's going to go down there. Transformers number zero for six is now four. All right, I think I've lowered the price on everything that was out there last night. So that's your last chance to get those books that, was, that were out there last night. Although I, that Wolverine is new. This today, anyway. Speaking of uh, the Netflix Defender show, one of the be one of the m my favorite characters on the Daredevil show was the Kingpin. That was really cool. He was really cool. I thought he he kind of made the show really. Uh, here's King. There's Wally. This is Kingpin number five. This came out probably the mid 2000s. Let me take a look here. 
Uh, yeah, 2003. Uh, I'm going to put this out for $4. This is Kingpin number five. This one's pretty cool. This is uh, Venom. The artwork I thought when I first saw it was uh, Humberto Ramos, but it's not. It's a guy that draws, I swear, just like him. Uh, his name's Francisco Herrera, and this is Venom number, number five. Uh, I'm going to put this out for five bucks. Venom number five, cool cover. There's Brocco. Is that how you say his name? Brocco, Brico. Venom number five for five bucks. Rocco, good to see you. I don't think I've ever seen you on here before either, buddy. Where are you from? There's Chris. What's up, buddy? All right, we've got a full board out there. Uh, we got some Venom, some Marvel, um, some a little bit of everything right now. We're going to do our first give. What time? Is, oh, we got a clock on the wall now. We didn't have that before. When did that show up? It is 325 Eastern time. Uh, around 4 o'clock, we're going to have our first giveaway. I haven't decided what I'm going to give away yet, but i got to find something cool that you guys will like. Um, yeah, we got to do something cool today. And I'll just give those books a few more minutes, and then I'm going to start clearing them off. Man, I got a whole because I got all kinds of stuff to show you guys today. Anyone in the comments that likes Lucha Libre? I'm not sure. Lucha Libre is still pretty big out there. Got a couple of Lucha Libre fans. Hey, there's Aaron, and he wants the Marvel. Where did I put that anyway? Let's see, down here. I think it's it. Marvel double feature for five. Thanks, Aaron. All right, here was a cool one. I just now Jason may have had this out here yesterday. I don't know, uh, but this is the official adaptation of RoboCop Two. It's kind of an oversized book. Uh, it's instead of the normal comic size, it's probably about three inches wider. Uh, Rob wants to know any Rick and Morty or ASM coming up. Yeah, I've got, I know I've got Spider-Man for sure. Uh, and we have a hard time keeping, uh, Rick and Morty in the store. We sell a lot. Uh, but I'll see if I can find some for you. Here is RoboCop 2. We have a $10 price tag on it in the store. I'm going to let it go for $5 for RoboCop 2. Rob, you like uh, what kind of made Spider-Man do you like? Do you like the some old Sp old made Spider-Man? You want the new stuff? Tell me what you're interested in. Of course, Rick and Morty, pretty obvious. It's all pretty new. <laughs> but if you like the some old school, some new stuff. All right, I'm gonna take Spectacular Spider-Man. And Wolverine down. And here I've got, I'm going to go ahead and put out this. This is Amazing Spider-Man number one. Uh, this is uh, the newer Amazing Spider-Man number one. I think this is the, the current Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I'm just going to put it out for cover price, which is five ninety nine, six dollars. Six dollars for Amazing Spider-Man number one. Uh, 
Oh, I got you, Rob. Okay. Yeah, give me just a minute. I've got a whole box right over here. Wally got the Amazing Spider-Man. Cool. All right. Now I've got an Amazing Spider-Man right here. Um, this is number 380. Uh, part of the Maximum Carnage storyline. This is part 11 of 14. And I'm going to put it out for five bucks. Amazing Spider-Man number 380. Carnage. Venom. The whole symbiote gang on there uh here i've got uh, uh vampirella number 21 from dynamite new story arc on this one rob wants asm for th thank you rob now uh rob you just got beat out on that amazing spider-man I got you, Rob. Uh, now this is not Amazing Spider-Man, but it does, but it is part of that Maximum Carnage storyline. This is Web of Spider-Man. Uh, this is part two of four. Uh, Carnage is doing his thing with Spider-Man. Uh, we got um, cool cover on there. Uh, I'm gonna put it for five bucks too. Web of Spider-Man number one oh one, part of the Maximum Carnage story, two, part two of fourteen. Uh, Rob, you got that amazing Spider-Man. Right, guys? Rob, yeah, okay. Yeah, Rob, you got that one. Well, sometimes that happens, guys. It's no biggie. All right, so what do we got over here? We've got um, Transformers. And here we've got, oh, that Robocop. I'm going to go ahead and take that Robocop. I like to see the the, uh, the gentlemen's come out. No hard feelings. I like it. Proper etiquette. I like it. Uh, here's Power Man and Iron Fist, number 63. Uh, this is a, a 40 cent comic from 1980 and I'm gonna let it go we've got six dollar price tag on it in the store I'm gonna let it uh, go for five dollars right there that's right we're all friends here you know what that is kind of cool about um, doing this is that you get to know people like we get to know you guys you get to know us and you guys get to know each other amongst yourselves and we kind of do get this little I know Rob's only been here for a few days but uh, Wally's been here for a while, and you kind of get to, you know, we get this uh, family community environment going on, and um, it's kind of cool. I don't know. It, I'm glad we're always welcoming new people in, and uh, I like it because um, we all become good friends here. I think so, anyway. 
I think some people have become pretty good friends um, amongst themselves on here anyway. Uh, here, I just took down uh, the terror book number 13 and 11. I had each one of them up for $4. Uh, I don't want to put them back in the box. So I'm going to let both terror books go um, for $5. No, this is number 11 and number 13. Yeah, <laughs> just like just like Colin said there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I, now you got it going through my head, Jack. Okay, so uh, Wally, uh, I have an. I just so happened. I just found. I'm sitting right here. I didn't know I had it. Here's another Amazing Spider-Man number 380. If you want it, I'll sell it to you for the same price. Uh, but I don't want. I'm not going to assume you want it. Uh, this is for Wally. Wally, if you want Amazing Spence, Amazing Spider-Man 380 for five. Just let me know. I'm going to have it sitting right here for you. I don't know why I had an extra one here. That's kind of weird. But it's there if you want it, my friend. Yeah, now everybody's got the Friends theme song going in their head. Uh, here's Amazing Spider-Man number 374, Venom Attacks. The V-Man targets Richard and Mary Parker. Three, Amazing Spider-Man number 374, Five dollars. All right, what we got here for seven? Oh, yes, that Thor variant. We'll take that down. Does anybody remember Cross Gen Comics? They were the new kids on the block for a while for, uh, I don't know, it was like the early 2000s, I think. Uh, here is, uh, this is one of their first titles. This is called Sojourn, and this is uh, issue number one. I think it was kind of like a, a fantasy story. S instead of a guy, which is unusual, they had a, a, f a female lead for once. We're gonna put that out for three bucks. Sojourn number one. Uh, what did? Let's see. Did I? Uh, yeah, Wally. Uh, Wally, please let me know if you want this. If you don't, I'm just gonna put it back in the box on this 380. If you're still with us, anyway. Oh, we still got the web of Spider-Man there and Vampirella. Surprised nobody wants Venom. Everybody's always looking for Venom. I'm, I'm going to save that for next show, I think. Because people are always looking for Venom. It's one of our Venom. Let's see what else. Harley Quinn. People love Harley Quinn. Deadpool. Kingpin. Uh, here's uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight. Uh, it's more like darker stories of batman uh the, the cover is awesome on this one i'm not sure who does the cover it's like a, a painted cover um this is from early 2000s also uh, i'm gonna put this out for four dollars this is batman legends of the dark knight 168 yeah venom's always a good one to sell it just but sometimes there's just not people on that's looking for it you know whatever you put out you got to have the right audience for it, you know
Apparently, supposed to be doing a show on this book. This is called The Runaways. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with The Runaways, it's by Marvel, and it's by a bunch. It's about a bunch of kids, who, adolescents, teenagers, who uh, find out that their parents are supervillains, and they all have powers themselves, and they find out they're villains, and they all run away. They basically become a super team, but they're all just on the run. Really, they're not out fighting crime. They're just trying to get away from their evil parents. Uh, this is Runaways number seven. I'm going to put this out for $4. Uh, apparently, they're making this into a sh TV show, I think, aren't they? Runaways number seven. Four bucks. What we have down here? Oh, Power Man, Iron Fist. We'll leave that down for a minute. We have two terror books right there for five. Uh, here we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 374. Uh, here is the Sigil book for three. Here is Cable for three. I'm going to take it down. And then way over here we've got Deadpool. Deadpool's not selling today. Oh, by the way, do we have any more of these other than this uh, one of the eight books for six dollars? We have a bunch of these. Okay. Well, here we have. Uh, I don't know if everybody, some of you guys may be new to this. We have these bundles. Oh, we got a, several of these. These are uh, some bundles we put together uh, that has eight books in them. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, eight books for six bucks. Now, the cool thing about this is that they could be anything, and we always try to put something good in these so it makes it worth the six dollars. They're not just, you know, quarter, 25 cent bin crap. These are good books. <coughs> we'll put a, oftentimes we'll put a golden age, uh, maybe a bronze age, a modern, something like that, uh, and mix them up so you get a little bit of everything. I'm just going to put this out here. Uh, you don't. You can get uh, as many of those as you want. We've got a whole box that we've made up uh, for a while. Sometimes we'll put money in them. Sometimes we put uh, five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, even twenty dollar bills. Uh, I don't. They're totally random, so we just pick them randomly out of the box. Uh, hey, there's Brenda. Yeah, Runaways is good. Uh, I, I was reading it for some time, and um, I. Somebody verify that for me. I want to say that that's coming on to a TV show. I, I don't know which channel, though. That, is it ABC Family or something? I don't know. Uh, Rob wants a bundle. Uh, I'm, Rob, I'm going to just grab you one from over there. Uh, Michaela, can you just grab one of those? Just just grab the whole box, and then you just pick out, grab one when somebody. Rob Havoc wants a bundle. I'm just going to leave this one right here. Unless you want this one specifically, Rob. Uh, Michaela's going to grab one and put it up for you in your stack. And it says they're making a show and the comic is coming back in a few weeks with a new team. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that about the new comic. I may put some uh, pops out here shortly, too. Um, we don't have to always just sell comics, by the way. We've got a whole, like, 5,000 square foot store out here of stuff. And uh, we kind of focus on comics because they're the easiest and the most things that we can put out that you guys can see. But we've got a whole store full of stuff um, uh, where we've got pops and uh, Pokemon and magic, all kinds of stuff. If you guys are anything, if you guys are interested in, in anything other than comics, let us know. And we might might be able to fill it for you. Uh, for example, here uh, here's one right here. This is uh, a Marvel Pop uh, Black Bolt. This is the previews exclusive, so you can only get it in the comic book store. Um, and we sell this for thirteen dollars. Normally, you can have it here for twelve. Twelve dollars for Black Bolt. That's my uh, first pop. I'm going to put out. Uh, Rob wants to know. Hey, Colin. Thanks for joining us. Good night to you probably late over there in the UK. 
Talmadge, Talmadge wants to know if we had any Harley Quinn first appearance. Talmadge, if you had joined us yesterday, we had two of them. We had two Batman Adventures number 12 that we found in our vault, and we sold both of them. I think they sold for like, what was it they sold for? 350 350 something like three something uh we may have some more but right now we don't uh but we found two of them yesterday and you just missed out uh and rob wants to know do we have any harley quinn number 25 frank cho covers uh rob will check for you um that's a possibility we might i don't know um i'll have someone go back in there and look in just a minute okay Three eighty-five. That's what it was. Yeah, they went for quite a bit, but they're worth it. I think normally they sell for like five hundred or something. I think we were selling them on the cheap, actually. Yeah, Talmadge, if you had just shown up yesterday, of all the time, because I mean, we rarely have those, those are hard to find, and we just happened to find two of them yesterday, and now you're asking about them. It's kind of weird, but all right, let's get some stuff moving. Oh, what do we have here? Soldier. Now we're gonna take Soldier down. Yeah, we had a good price on them. They were uh, near mint condition too. In fact, if we, we kind of knew they were going to sell, but if they didn't sell, we were going to try and uh, get them graded, and because uh, they always, of course, sell higher if you have them graded. They probably would have been uh, graded at like a nine two or nine four or something like that, if I was guessing. All right, Amazing Spider-Man number three seventy four. Uh, here's a cool Spider-Man book. This is Spider-Man Blue, book one. Uh, this is by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. Uh, I love when they do these books. Uh, they, so like, they always do a new take on the characters. Um, this is number one, and we're going to put it out for $6. All right, we've got two tear books for five. We'll just take those down for now. Here's Amazing Spider-Man number 369. Uh, it's got Electro and the Green Goblin. Uh, I'm going to let this one go for four bucks. Four bucks for the Amazing Spider-Man number Here's a G.I. Joe book. This is G.I. Joe. This is when Image was doing G.I. Joe. I think IDW still is has uh, is G.I. Joe now. The, but this is uh, Image's take on G.I. Joe, and it is going to sell for three dollars. Got big bad Cobra on the front there. Power Man and Iron Fist coming down. All right, Rob, we'll see you in a minute. Here's uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, number 59. We're going to let it go for $4. Buffy, number Oh, it's coming up on 4 o'clock already. How is that possible? We're going to have our first giveaway at 4 o'clock. And I still don't know what I'm going to give away. Q. 
here is the cryptic writings of megadeth this is from chaos comics it's got a really cool cover on it uh got the uh a lot of skull a lot of blood and a lot of chains just like any right person would expect from megadeth uh we'll put that out for four dollars the cryptic writings of megadeth four bucks from 1997 runaways coming down also i got another pop here here is a uh, brand stark uh from game of thrones now bran is shown fully upright i don't know if this is little bran it looks like the older version of bran so i don't know how he's standing upright uh we are going to put that out for twelve dollars bran stark hey frank Thanks for joining us, Frank. Hey, uh, guys, don't forget to uh, like and share. I always try and uh, get everybody to do that. I'm going to try to do that right now. But it helps us get the word out. And given that we're down to about uh, nine or ten people, I want to like and share to as many places as we can. All right, don't forget we have these eight books for $6 bundles here. Uh, we got some pops over there. If you guys don't see, I mean, I've only got two pops out of thousands of pops we have here. So if you want, if you if you see, a, if you know of a pop that you want, we may have it here in the store. We'll try and get it for you. Uh, here we've got uh, Spider-Man Blue by Tim Sale and Jeff Loeb. Uh, here we've got uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 369. Uh, here, what do we have here? I can't remember. Oh, this is uh, Buffy. No, this is G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, number 22 from Image for only three. Uh, here is Buffy, number 59 from Dark Horse. Uh, up here, we've got uh, Megadeth, number two, Batman, Legend of the Dark Knight, number 168. And over here, we've got Vampirella, number 21, and... Web of Spider-Man 101. Yeah, a little slow, Jerry, or Jack, but sometimes it happens. Did they make a crypto pop? Um, that's a good question. Let me take a look right here real quick. Garrett, hey buddy, there he wants Amazing Spider-Man for four. There's Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, Jack, it looks like they did make a crypto pop. I don't think we've got it, but uh, it's pretty cute, actually. going to replace that amazing spider-man i thought i had another one here okay well, that's okay uh, i'll put out some more amazing spider -Man. i know uh rob was looking for some he may not be here right now though here is uh justice league justice league from the dc rebirth uh number three and we're gonna put that out for four dollars justice league number three from the dc rebirth Four bucks. Yeah, no problem, Jack. Garrett wants Justice League four. Thanks, Garrett.
Here is a wolf. I had a did I? I think I had a Wolverine out earlier. Here's another Wolverine. This is Wolverine number forty six. It's got um, Sabretooth, as he's often in the books fighting Wolverine. This is Wolverine number forty six. Home is the hunter. Is this called? Is the storyline four dollars? Let's take uh, Spider Man Blue down. Give me a couple of the ones I have. Here. Hold on. Oh, I know one's so old it might be hard to read. All right, so here's some books that uh, I went and dug out from the vault myself. These are so old, I don't have much information on them. But they are cool. I love these old books. Here's a cool one. This is um, from DC Comics. Strange Adventures. Uh, this is originally a 12-cent comic. This is Strange Adventures, number 191. Uh, the most fantastic mystery of the year, the alien prince. Um, this is in really good shape for how old it is. This, well, I'd probably give it about a four. Um, I'm going to put it out for seven dollars for Strange Adventures, number one ninety one. And I'm going to put out another old one in the Zoom window. Oh, this looks cool. I don't know if anybody, anybody remembers these, but this is um, uh, Walt Disney's The Hardy Boys. Who was it that played The Hardy Boys on the TV show? I don't know, but this is, this, this is a photo cover, but it's not the actual actors that played the, on the TV show. Uh, the Hardy Boys, because I think this was before the the uh, TV show Walt Disney's The Hardy Boys The Secret of the Old Mill uh, Walt Disney's this is from the Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse Club this is a 10 cent comic uh, I would guess this is from the mid 50's uh, we've got a $55 price tag on it um, I'm going to let it go for $25 $25 for Jason wants Strange Adventures for seven. Thanks, Jason. Here is the Hardy Boys number. This is Walt Disney's Hardy Boys number 830 for 25 bucks. All right, here is, uh, let's go with an old school cartoon book. <laughs> this is uh, all new, brand new stories back then of Mutt and Jeff, created by Bud Fisher, a 10 cent Dell comic. Uh, condition is not great, probably about a three and a half. Hey, Wally. And I'm going to put this out for $5. Mutt and Jeff. Number. What number did I say that was? It doesn't have a number. Oh, yeah. Number 105. From 1958. Hey, Wally. Wally's back. Oh, yeah. Hey, Wally, uh, remember earlier you had claimed 
uh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 380, but uh, r that other guy, Rob, would beat you to it. Uh, I had another one here um, for $5 if you wanted it. I, I just so happen to have it. Uh, if you want it, just I had left it back here for you to claim. So this is Amazing Spider-Man 380. If you want it, just let me know. Uh, I kind of have a full board there. I got some space, but I don't know. Let's see. Scoot everything over a little bit. G.I. Joe, I think, is going to come down for now. Oh, that's the Mutton Jeff I just stuck out there. There's Wolverine for four. Jason wants Mutton Jeff for five. No problem, Wally. Do you want it? Love it. Let me know. I don't want to make any assumptions. Here is gold from Gold Key Comics. Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan of the Apes, TV Adventures. I guess it's based on the TV show at the time. Uh, it's got a photo cover on it where Tarzan looks like he's nursing uh, some sort of uh, links back to health. All right, Wally wants that. Thanks, Wally. Uh, Tarzan TV Adventures. Uh, we've got an $8 price tag on it. I'm going to put it down to $6 on Tarzan TV Adventures. I'm not sure what year that's from. Well, I've got a whole bunch of uh, old school books here for you. I'm going to put out today. Uh, here's a book called uh, Stray Bullets. Uh, it's by, I forget who it's, who what company puts it out, but, oh, El Capitan. But it's kind of uh, for people who like independent books. Um, and I'm going to put this out for $4. Stray Bullets, number seven, four bucks. I think uh, my pops are throwing me off over there. Let me take those down a minute. All right, it's four o'clock. I need to find something to give away. Right. Uh, these are just random. It's a random giveaway today. So I found something random. Uh, this is two uh, separate copies of two separate books. This is Unity number one from Valent. This is both of these are blank Bristol board covers. Uh, this is Doctor Who number one from Titan Comics. I'm going to put them together as a giveaway for a lot. Uh, we both we sell these both in the store for twenty dollars. These are ten dollars a piece. I'm going to give them both away together. Uh, in order to win this, all you got to do, um, what are we going to? Let's just type in 
What would you t- What do you want to type in? Um, just l- type in Doctor Who because one of them is Doctor Who. Type in Doctor Who in the comment section. That way we know that you're on here. We're gonna give them away. Uh, what are we here? We got Megadeth. We we'll take this down. Uh, type in Doctor Who into the comment section, and uh, whoever types that in, we'll choose from those people who type that in, and uh, we'll give those away. Fingers crossed. Just like Jack typed it in and Jason and Ernie. Now, I don't know if you guys like Doctor Who or if you like Unity. That other book is Unity by Valiant. Valiant Valiant has just come out, started uh, in the last year or so, creating their own books again. Oh, I thought it was cool. Go Cubbies, yeah. Uh, Cubs play the Phillies today, I think. It's 6 o'clock or so. Who's going to be watching the uh, big fight tonight? Anybody going to be in front of their uh, TV's pay-per-view? Hey, what's up, Eric? I I can count on you to always type in exactly what I say. Um, (coughs) Yeah, the big fight tonight. That should be interesting, but I can't pay $100 to watch it. I just can't. But if anybody wants to, you know, buy it for us over here at the Team Maddox, uh, we're not going to turn you down. We'll we'll stream it over here, and you guys can come over here and watch it. That was, that's actually not a bad idea. Everybody came over here and watched it. Jason wants the Megadeth. Cool. I'm glad you bought that, Jason. I've been eyeing that book for a while. I wanted it. I wanted somebody to get that. You know what? I I have to say I'm kind of rooting for McGregor too. Only because Mayweather is, uh, maybe it's all an act. Maybe they're both such just really good actors. But for years now, Mayweather is just so cocky. Now, granted, he's 49 and 0. He, he can be cocky. Um, but damn. Uh, Eric says, I'm hosting a fight in poker game night since it's going to be entertainment anyway. So I have about 20 guys coming in. I'm charging him 10 ducks. There you go. That's what you need to do. You don't live anywhere close to us, though, do you, Eric? I'd come over. I'd give you 20 bucks. Or 10 bucks, even. Yeah, I'd give you 10 bucks. I'd pay 10 bucks to watch it. Not 100, though. I can't do it. One year I bought the... Um, the last pay-per-view I, I bought was uh, uh, Tyson and uh, Lennox Lewis. Uh, and that's what I did. I, just, like, I don't know. It was only like 50 bucks then. And, um, of course, that was a long time ago. And I charged, like a few guys five bucks ahead to come over and watch it so yeah it was a good fight too but i'm just don't know how this fight's going to turn out i mean mcgregor is obviously not a boxer how do you i mean in mma you do some boxing but it's not you know 12 rounds of boxing you grapple and you wrestle and you knee people you knee each other and you you know it's not boxing so i don't i don't i think he's at a clear disadvantage but i don't know we'll see all right, this is your last chance to win these two books. These are the freebies. To win those, if you're just joining us, you have to type in Doctor Who into the comment section to be entered into the drawing. And and you have to like and share. Liking and sharing is very important. And how It's how we keep going here to get new people coming in here. In fact, I've seen several new people on, on the feed here since... Uh, I've started today. Of course, I'm only on here once a week, so it's not uncommon, I suppose, to see new people on here. But please like and share. Um, even if you uh, don't want to win the books, that helps us get more people in here. Just like Kristen did. Yep. Yep. 
And uh, we're going to probably do that. Let's see. It's almost, it's about 8 after. Uh, I'm only going to go a few more minutes, and then we're going to pick a winner. And I see a lot of thumbs going across the screen there. So we are going to uh, draw a winner here in just a minute. Okay. Um, let me see if I can clear the board. Uh, anything I have on the board uh, right now, uh, I'm going to take $2 off. $2 off anything on the board. And the Hardy Boys that's over there, that's $25. I'm going to take $5 off. So you can have that for 20 bucks. the Hardy Boys. By the way, that Hardy Boys, uh, we had a $55 price tag on that. So you can have it for 20 bucks, uh, And anything else is $2 off the sticker price on there. Uh, Jason gets Vampirella for two and Webb for three. Where is Webb? There we go. Thank you, Jason. And while you guys are deciding if you want that, I'm going to pull out some more books. Uh, here is, uh, this was a really cool part of the X-Men history. Uh, Grant Morrison and Mark Silvestri had teamed up for a new X-Men. And I'm flipping through the books here. I'm trying to remember the story. Yeah, this is really cool. It's kind of a, a futuristic story, Wolverine. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows who Beak is in the current, well, I don't know if you know Beak's still around, but he's got like this, he's this gangly Beak uh, he's got a beak like a bird. He's kind of weird looking, but in the future, he's like all buff and looks like an eagle. Anyway, this is a uh, new X Men number one fifty four, four bucks. Uh, by the way, anything else is still two dollars off the board. Anything that's on there, and Hardy Boys is up for twenty. I'm gonna go ahead and put these up, but I'm gonna try and clear the board here. Uh, here's Judge Dread versus Aliens by Dark Horse. Uh, we're gonna put that out for four bucks. Let's see. Uh, okay. Well, I can just take the rest of the stuff off and put a bunch of new stuff up. There's Shamir. That's my friend. Eric says, so glad I grabbed a set of metal from you guys. My local comic book store sold my copy under me and then restocked. I just picked up my spare copy just today. And it has like five creatures on the on the edge. So pissed. I'm glad you guys sent my pull list to. Yeah, cool. Um, Eric, so did you get the? Uh, did we send it to you already? Did you get it? Oh, uh, the metal. I hope so. We like to have happy customers. That's always a good thing. see how what do we got up there now we got uh oh yeah we got these two freebies up here uh, i'm gonna take these down but we're gonna still have them shamir if you're just joining us you are just joining us type in doctor who and you could win these two blank white bristol board books of doctor who and unity from valiant comics all you gotta do is type in uh doctor who into the blank or in, into the comment section Well, I haven't um, tracked down any Rick and Morty yet. I just haven't had a chance. I keep waiting for some. You know, in our old store, we were like right in the corner of our retail store. So one of when one of our employees would walk by, I could just say, hey, come here. Go look for some Rick and Morty. But now in our new location, we're kind of way back here in our, by ourselves. And I was hoping one of those guys would come back here at some point. And... Uh, if and when they do, I'll say, hey, go find us some Rick and Morty. Uh, Eric says, yeah, I was able to snag all the variants one shot. Uh, each was perfect near mint. Awesome. Love it. I love it when people get packages from us and they are all in good, great condition.
All right, I'm just going to take these down. You guys had the opportunity to get some really good deals, and nobody jumped on it. But, hey, that's okay. Sometimes you just don't get the books out that people are looking for. Jason Dugas jumped on it. Okay, let's see. Here is an old uh, Doctor Strange. This is Doctor's. This is a twelve-cent comic. Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts, um, number one seventy-four from Marvel. Um, I'm going to put that out at twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for Doctor Strange, number one seventy-four. Condition-wise, it's probably about a six. Maybe a seven if I was being generous. Twelve dollars for Doctor Strange. Yeah, guys, I got several of these old books. I'm going to go ahead and put on another book, an old, another old one. Let's see. Here is from Hanna Barbera, from um, Gold Key Comics, originally a twelve cent book. Also, Super TV Heroes. I guess these were uh, cartoon heroes back on in the early days of cartoons. Uh, Birdman, Galaxy Trio, and Diamond of Doom. Shazam, Diamond of Doom. Um, this is a I would guess from the late fifties. And I'm going to put it out for $16 for Hanna-Barbera Super TV Heroes. Now, if anyone, if you guys want to see any of these early books up close because see their condition, uh, we can show them up there to you. And I'm going to put one more old school book up there. This is The Wings of Eagles. Uh, he puts wings on the Navy and sailed it right into the sky. Uh, this is based on a movie of John Wayne, and there is a photo of John Wayne right there. Uh, we had a $40 price tag on it. Uh, I'm going to let it go for $18. $18 for The Wings of Eagles, starring John Wayne. This, I guess, was a uh, comic, basically like an um, adaptation of the movie, a John Wayne movie. Uh, here's a book by DC. I'm going to go back to a little modern age now. This is Arkham Asylum uh, called Living Hell. This is number five. It looks like Arkham has turned into a bit of a creep house, as you would expect. Four bucks for that. Here is Savage Dragon. I haven't seen any Savage Dragon in a while. This is Image Comic Savage Dragon, number 109. It's cool to see Savage Dragon again. Uh, four bucks. And let's pull out one more book before we pick a winner. This is Thundercats from Wildstorm. It looked like Jim Lee art, but I don't think it is. I don't think Jim Lee was ever on the Thundercats. This is Thundercats number four. If this hangs around a while, I'll be surprised because a lot of people like the Thundercats. Thundercats number four for four bucks. All right, now let's pick a winner for these two books here. These are the two books we had, the Doctor Who and the Unity book. 
Andrew just gave me the winner of this. Uh, the winner for our first drawing for the day is Wally. What's Wally's last name? Bags. Wally Bags. Congratulations, Wally. You are the winner of our first giveaway today. Everybody congratulate Wally. Wally, have you ever won anything from us before? Oh, uh, let's see. Shamir says, Jim, you know if you have Batman Adventures number one or Batman Gotham Adventures number one? Um, I don't know. I don't know if we have that or not. Uh, seems like last night that Jason had pulled the Batman Adventures, some of those books. Um, I think he had some other, uh, b you know, he had a... Uh, Number twelve that has the first Harley. I don't know if he if he pulled uh, number one of that or not. If he did, I'll see if I can find it. He may have sold it if he did. Uh, but I'll see if I can find it. Do I have a full board up there? Yes, I do. I'm gonna sit down for just a second in case you guys are just joining us. Uh, that Harley on the in the Zoom window we have the Hardy Boys. For twenty-five dollars, I've lowered it to twenty. If somebody's interested in that, that's a ten-cent um, um, Walt Disney book. Uh, we had a fifty-five dollar price tag on it, and we've lowered it to twenty bucks. I'm going to take it down in just a minute if uh, nobody snags that one. I've got a whole bunch of whole bunch more of Golden Age books back here that I'd like to show you guys today. Uh, and they're all just random. None of them are no double issues of anything, really. Um, it may just take the right on. If you guys aren't looking for any uh, I any more Golden Age, then we won't we won't put any up. Uh, Jack wants to know: if You have any more Doctor Who covers, and what do they go for? Uh, Jack, I th I think I've got another one. Um, we normally sell them for ten, but I can s I'll sell you one today for six if you want it. We sell them for we sell most of our Bristol board books for like ten bucks in the store, but uh, I'd sell you one for six if you wanted it. Let me double check, make sure I got it. Yep, here's one right here, Doctor Who number one. This is uh, New Adventures with the Third Doctor, by the way. Number three, I don't know who the third Doctor was. Any Golden Age Superman? Um, yeah, I think I got some somewhere. In fact, I saw some action comics earlier. All right, thanks, Jason. All right, thanks, Jason, for that. Yeah, here's that uh, Doctor Who, if you want it, Jack. No obligation, but it's there for six if you want it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, here's an old book from Dell Comics. I, I need to do some uh, research on my old Dell Comics because Dell Comics seemed like had the, um, I don't know what happened to them. Did they turn in, is what Dell turned into Marvel eventually? I think so. Hey, there's Billy Bob. I want to say Dell. Somebody do look that up for me. Dell, did they eventually turn into Marvel? Uh, this is a Dell 12 cent comic. And it's just called Superheroes. 12 cent comic, Superheroes. The Fab Four meet the incredible coal man. 10,000 degrees of hate filled heat. Can they stop him? So, is this an early version of the Fantastic Four, maybe? I don't know. Uh, we have. A $9 price tag on it. I'm going to let it go for $7 for Dell Comics. 12 cent comic for 7 bucks. Uh, Condition-wise, I would give it about a 3. 
got some spine damage. I mean, it's still in good. Uh, I mean, there's no rips or anything in it. It's just got some wear and tear and spine damage. And, uh, you know, it's just been around a while. Billy Bob likes his Dell Comics. Cool. Uh, Billy Bob, I think you like some. You like Disney stuff, I think, right? Uh, over there, there's a Walt Disney's Hardy Boys over there. Uh, I had it. We originally had a fifty-five dollar price tag on it in the store. Um, I was trying to sell it for twenty-five, but now I've dropped it down to twenty. All right, I'm going to put out another Dell comic. This is Dell Comics, uh, Gentle Ben, and this stars Clint Howard, uh, Ron Howard's brother. You guys, you guys know who Clint Howard is? He's in a lot of B movies and stuff. Kind of a uh, cool guy off camera but he plays a lot of strange characters but when he was a kid he was a child actor just like his brother on the Andy Griffith show this is Gentle Ben I think this was a movie uh, it says danger excitement an adventure shared by a small boy and a huge bear in the Florida Everglades starring Clint Howard and um, condition wise I give it about a four four and a half uh, I'm going to put it up for $7 also from Dell Comics, originally $0.12. Cents. Yeah, no, he's all he's all in the Ron Howard's movie, isn't he? Uh, Christian says, last night there was a double-signed Excalibur for 20 and Avengers 51 for $51. Are they still there? Christian, I don't know, but I'll look for you. Um, I remember seeing that Excalibur out because people were asking, why is there an Excalibur out for $20? It's not worth that, cause it was, but it was signed. Uh, I'll see if I can find it for you. You guys wouldn't happen to know if it sold last night, would you? No, I don't know about it. All right, we're going to check on that for you. Uh, Jason gets superheroes for seven. I would love some more Dell, Raggedy Ann, and Andy. Um, I don't think I have any of those, uh, Billy Bob, but I do have some more Dell stuff in other titles that I'm going to put out throughout the day. Okay, here we go. Eric says Dell Comics is from 29 to 74, and in 1974, it's been defunct license from Disney to Warner Brothers and even Hanna Barbera. Okay. That's good to know. Is Thundercats number one? Where did I put that? No, it's number four, Christian. I think, well, there's probably some in it that you could only find it. wonder what those can be. All right, Christian, uh, McKaylee's telling me that those two books that you were asking about did not sell uh, last night. But if that's the case, we'll see if we can find them for you. And uh, if you want, are you looking for those to buy today? I guess that's why you asked. Uh, we'll see if we can find them for you. Billy Bob says, remember the one I bought from you a while back? It should be back from CGC. Oh, cool. You got that graded. Uh, somebody was asking for some old school Superman. Um, here is a 12 cent action comics. Uh, this is number 309. Somebody is masquerading as Superman. Uh, we have a $20 price tag on this. Uh, I'm willing to let it go for $13. This is... Uh, this is Action Comics number 309. 
for thirteen dollars. All right, Christian, we'll see if we can find them for you. Um, if I don't find them now, uh, I may wait until between, you know, we do two shows, basically. I'll, I may wait before in between st in between shows and see if we can find them for you. Uh, Billy Bomb wants to know if we still need a Dark Knight Metal. Yeah, I still need one, sure. Uh, Aaron, Ernie gets Action Comics for 13 Here is uh, a book called... Superman, pa Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, a 20 cent book back in the day. Jimmy Olsen was up to his own shenanigans. He couldn't just take pictures and leave it alone. No, nope. he had to do his own thing. Uh, I'm going to put this out for $5. Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, number 152. All right, what do we got up here? It's Judge Dredd versus Aliens and the new X-Men. We're going to take them down. Somebody was asking for a Harley Quinn first appearance earlier. This isn't a first appearance. It's far from it. But this is a Harley Quinn book. This is Harley Quinn number 16 from the new 52. We're going to put that out for $4. What was sold before you get a chance to see it, Jack? What were you talking about? Uh, Billy Bob, today we have Andrew with us and McKaylee, and please everybody wish Andrew a happy birthday. Tomorrow's his birthday. Tomorrow he's going to be sweet 16. And Jack gets Superman pal Jimmy Olsen for $5. Jack, what were you, what were you, uh, what were you talking about what was sold before you got a chance? Was it the, the, um, Action Comics? Here's another Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. This is number 83. By the way, that's a Thundercats Dogs of War, number 4B variant cover by Wills Portio. I would have snagged it, but I have updated my list. I have two copies of it. Yeah, that's a cool cover. Uh, yeah, you are right. That is the second cover on that. Um, this is Jimmy Olsen, number 83. For seven dollars, it's a little older, only number All right, here is an Action Comics. This is Action Comics. Is Mac Manning the Peep? Yes, did I know? Oh, I'm sorry if I didn't say that. Yeah, uh, McKaylee is on the other uh, position over here. She's uh, manning the board over there. This is Action Comics number 462. I'm not sure who Batman or uh, Superman's taking on there. I can't tell. Thundercats for four. We'll put that in a bag and board for you. Uh, Action Comics number 462. I'm going to put this one out for $5. Now, this is a 30-cent comic. I hate this Facebook app. I constantly have to do stuff to make it work. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. When we first moved over here, we were having problems with, uh, is it still doing that, by the way? Where like every 10 or 15 seconds, it would, the video would just stop for a second, but the audio would keep going and then it would catch up to itself. 
Now we made some changes to the uh, settings um, where we thought it fixed that. Is that is that a problem that you guys are still having? Here is a uh, is this it's still doing that, Christian? Is it, was that what you were answering to? Because I thought we fixed that. Uh, here's Edgar Rice Burroughs, Korak, son of Tarzan. A 12 cent comic. This is number 21. Uh, we have an $8 price tag on it. I'll let it go for $5. Looks like uh, Korak, son of Tor Tarzan, is fighting some giant ants with lasers. And all he has is a loincloth and a knife. Five bucks. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to still look for that. Uh, those two books, Excalibur for and uh, Avengers 51 for Christian, I think it is. Um, it's got to be back here somewhere. We'll find it. And we've got a full board right now. Wow, it's already 4.35. What's everybody doing today, by the way? Where are you guys watching us from? Last week, I can't remember who it was. Uh, it was This girl was watching us f while she was putting her groceries up from her car. So she had to have been watching us while she was grocery shopping, of all things. Which is cool. I'm actually trying to contact Jason right now to see if he knows where that Excalibur uh, and that Avengers book went to. So bear with me for just a minute because I'm afraid whoever is a Christian that wants it that uh, you guys might that he, you might not be around when I come back the next time. All right. Hopefully, Jason will get back to me and let me know. <coughs> All right. I'm going to take the old Hardy Boys down over here. But it is available if somebody needs it. Here's a cool one. This is from Dell. This is Dell... The Outer Limits, uh, I guess it was based on the TV show. It was a show called The Twilight Zone. There was another one called The Outer Limits. Uh, this is from 1967, 50 years old. Wow. The Last Human on Earth. Story, I always like those kind of stories, Last Human on Earth. Uh, this We sell it for $10 in the store. I'm going to let it go for 7 Dell Comics, The Outer Limits. I'll put that in the Zoom window there. Hey guys, please uh, do us a favor and like and share if you haven't already. Like and share to your own feed and in your in your own uh, on your own page or groups that you might be in. It really helps us a lot. All right, and oh, okay. Um, I don't think I have one, Billy Bob, but I will check. Trey, the feed might not be frozen. It could just be that I walked out for the. Uh, could be that I just walked out for a minute. 
And it looked like it was broken. All right, what do I got up here? I just put that out. Arkham Asylum's coming down. Here's a cartoon book from 1959. This book is over, what is that? Someone help me with the math. 58 years old, almost 60 years old. Called Rib Tickler. Rib Tickler number eight. It's kind of done in the old school cartoon style they used to do. This is a 10 cent comic from 1959. Uh, I'm going to let it go for $10. I love these old school books like this. I don't know why. Just for or just because they're so old. Uh, Ten dollars for Rib Tickler. I don't know what it's about. It's got a cartoon thing with kind of like a caterpillar jumping out of a camera. I don't know what's going on. It's silly, but it's old. All right, we still have these eight books for a. Uh, eight book bundles for six dollars. Uh, these are random bundles we put together. Um, could have anything in it from golden age to bronze to modern. Uh, could have a twenty-five dollar Walking Dead book in it. Uh, could have five dollar bill, a ten dollar bill, a twenty dollar bill. We put a little bit of everything in these books, but they're always worth the six dollars that you get. And we've got several of those. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We have found, Christian, we found the Excalibur book, the uh, Dynamic Forces Certificate of Authenticity with two signatures on it. We have that one for 20. We still have it. And McKaylee's still looking for that Avengers 51. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do the business on this one, Christian, if you want this one. tell. Oh, there you go. You've already done it. Christian knows what's up. He did it without before I even told him what to do. He must have a good uh, he must have a good uh, connection too because before I could even finish, he'd already told he'd already said what he's he already he knew what to put down. He knows what the deal is. What we got here for eighteen? I don't even remember. Oh, this is the John Wayne book for eighteen. Okay. Let's do this. John Wayne. Now, we have a $40 price tag on this. Old John Wayne. Maybe you guys don't even know who John Wayne is. I know some of you guys do. I know Billy Bob knows who John Wayne is. Jason knows who Billy Bob or who uh, John Wayne is. <laughs> Wally trying to snag the old Excalibur. Anyway, I lowered the uh, John Wayne Wings of Eagles book down to 15. All right, let's see. Eric says he's still going 30 pounds of books from the last shipment. <laughs> so far, I've got, oh, well, yeah, this is good to hear. I like to see, I love to see uh, what people get. Eric says he got a um, 
Walking Dead 100. That's cool. Spider-Man McFarlane and about four number one books. That's awesome. What are the two Funko Pops? Yeah, did somebody already answer? Uh, that's a uh, Bran and um, Black Bolt from Marvel. Now, guys, if you're looking for, those are just two Funko Pops I just happen to have. We've got thousands of them in the store. If there's something you're looking for specifically, let me know. We'll try and get it for you. All right, let's see what we got. All right, Billy Bob. You're asking for a Western? I'll give you a Western. What we got here? Action Comics and Harley Quinn. I'm going to take Harley Quinn down. Uh, here is a old uh, Superman. Well, they called it Superman DC National Comics back then. This is a 10-cent comic. Uh, this is called Tomahawk number 72. 10-cent comic, probably from the late 50s. Um, this sells for $15 uh, in the price guide. I'm going to let it go. Condition-wise, it's got a little ding on this, couple dings on the spine. Uh, it sells for 15. I'm going to let it go for 12 for Tomahawk. Number 72. Christian wants a bundle for six. All right, Christian, we're going to grab you one from over here. I'm going to leave this one here because we've already got it written on, but uh, Andrew grabbed you a bundle over there. Do we have any more Bob Ross? Um, I saw one over there, but I think it's got somebody's name on it. Do we have any more Bob Ross you guys know? No, sold the last one. Sold the last one? Okay. Uh, we're supposed to be ordering some more, apparently. Uh, what do we got over here for five? Oh, that's the son of Tarzan for five. We'll take that down. Yes, Happy Little Clouds. Here is uh, a 12-cent comic, Tales of the Unexpected, number 99, Rampage of the Energy Beings. There's some crazy stuff going on in this book. A 12-cent comic from DC, approved by the Comic Code Authority. Uh, I'm going to put it out for $8. Tales of the Unexpected. 12 cent DC comic, eight bucks. Dennis Peabody wants a bundle for six. All right, Dennis, uh, just like I just told uh, Christian, we're going to grab one from down here in our box. I'm going to leave this one here. Unless you really want this one, you can have it. Uh, we're going to grab one from over there. Christian says he's not buying anything else except for Avengers 51. So we'll get that for you. Jason wants Tales of the Unexpected. Here's a book uh, from Gold Key Comics, a 15-cent comic. Uh, the Man from Uncle, number 21, a photo cover from the actors that were on it. Uh, Robert Vaughn, I recognize him as one of the actors. I don't know who the other two are, but I'm sure they are all since, I think, probably past. Uh, you, know you know what Uncle stands for, by the way? I didn't know this, but it says it right here on the cover. I'm going to... I'm going to give somebody the opportunity to win a free book without looking. You have to do this in the next 15 seconds because I it'll give you because I know you guys will look it up in the next 15 seconds. If you can tell me what Uncle stands for, you're going to get a free book. I'm watching the clock. If it's more than 15 seconds, I know somebody's typing it in right now and see what it stands for. You can type it in anyway, but. You know what? I'll tell you what. Type it in anyway. Even if you look it up, whoever types it in first what it stands for, I'm going to give them a free book anyway. The 
The Man from Uncle was like this spy show. They had all kinds of gadgets, and I think it was a serious show, wasn't it? The what was that show with the guy? Uh, oh, Get Smart it was kind of a was it a spoof of the Man from uh, the Man from Uncle, where he talked into his shoe and all that? You guys have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I think I'm dating myself. Anyway, here's the man from Uncle. I'm going to go ahead and put the book out. I guess I can do that. Uh, this is number 21. Uh, we had a $32 price tag on it. Uh, I'm going to put it out for $20. $20 for the man from Uncle. Number 21. Jason Dugas, that's correct. I'm going to give you a free book, Jason. I'm just going to randomly pick a pick, pick a, a pick a, what am I saying? I'm going to randomly pick a book back here. All right, this is a random book. Uh, Jason, you just got an Aquaman. Give that to Jason. Oh, it's eight minutes till the next giveaway. Billy Bob, if I find a Betty Page issue one, I will definitely hold it for you. It seems like I've seen one around here. Um, I'll definitely hold it for you. On, outside, out on, the, on the rack, right? Yeah, we may have one on the rack because it's a new book, right? I'll definitely hold it for you. Christian, we still got McKaylee looking hard. She is digging her fingers to the bone looking for that book from yesterday. She doesn't think we sold it, so it's got to be around here. It's got to be somewhere. All right, what do we got here? Gentle Ben. Gentle Ben's coming down. All right, I've got one Action Comics out there now. I'm going to take it down, assuming whoever was looking for action, maybe not, it may not be early enough for you, but here is an Action Comics number 463. From 1976 to 1776, Superman gets hit but it's Clark Kent who lands in the past. Looks like it's some sort of time travel book from 1976. $5 for that. Here's an old war book. Here is War at Sea, a 10 cent book. Got some submarines, J Japanese submarines going against U.S. minefields um, from Charlton Comics. Uh, I'm going to let it go for $5. War at Sea, number, f I don't know what number it is. Doesn't say, doesn't say what number. $5 for that. Oh, it's number 27. All right, what we got here? Oh, Jimmy Olsen. All right, I'm going to take that from seven to five for Jimmy Olsen. Five bucks for you. Got the Wings of Eagles. John Wayne, you're coming down, my friend. Oh, what do we got way over here? Oh, Savage Dragon.
Jason gets Ward C for five. Where did I put that? Here? Ward C. No, that's Jimmy Olsen. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Jimmy Olsen, I dropped from seven to five. There you go. And here, I don't know if anybody looking for any Batman today. This is Detective Comics number 601. Uh, Batman looks like he's about to run somebody off the road with the Batmobile, as he's known to do. This is number 601 from 1989. I'm going to put it on for $4. Uh, Talmadge, do you have any, if you have any more Harley Quinn, would we hold up? Yeah, I'll hold it. We'll certainly, uh, if we have any, you know, it'll be hard to find, but yeah, we'll try. Uh, Garrett wants Detective for four. You guys know if we have any Game of Thrones clue for Garrett? I don't know if we do, but we'll see if we do. We had a Game of Thrones risk. Uh, I think we sold it though. We may still have that if you're interested. It was like a $100 game. In fact, we were selling it when we were moving the store because we didn't want to move it. They were so heavy that we sold it for like half price. But we still may have some if you're interested in those. Here's Detective Comics number 683. Penguin is surrounded by his little harem of women. As Penguin's known to do, four bucks. Here's an early Daredevil book. This is Daredevil number 21, a 12 cent comic. We normally sell this in the store for $30. $20 today for Daredevil. What number do I say it was? Number 21, a very early Daredevil. Here's a cool one. This is uh, Dell Comics' Journey to the Center of the Earth. This is uh, a movie adaptation uh, with Pat Boone and James Mason. Deep underground four daring explorers discover a strange land in a city lost for more than a thousand years. Uh, well, this is the ten cent originally. I'm going to put this out for ten dollars. Journey to the Center of the Earth. Ten bucks. All right, guys, you still with me? Well, we've got 19 people on, so that's good. Is it time for the next giveaway? All right, it is time. Garrett wants Batman for four. Was it Jack that was asking if we still had these Doctor Who books? I still have this back here, Jack. I think it was you that wanted it. Let me know if you want this Batman Bristol board. Uh, 
All right, I'll go. I'll continue with these Batman's if anybody's still interested. This is Detective Comics Batman number six ninety seven from nineteen ninety six. Looks like two faces in this one for four dollars. Uh, what are we got over here? I had these sitting here for a while. Oh, it's uh, Action Comics and Tomahawk. We'll take those down. Hey, there's Rob again. Glad you came back, Rob. You missed all kinds of fun. Garrett, you get Batman. All right. I want to do another giveaway. I think you guys will like this one. I don't know if you guys ever heard of... Is that a Johnny Quest? Um, where do you see it? Maybe a Johnny Quest. We have a... This is uh this is Jimmy Olsen right there, if you're thinking that's the Johnny Quest right there. Uh that's uh actually it is Jimmy Olsen number eighty three. We got here. Uh this is Daredevil number twelve. No, twenty number twenty one. Uh that's Journey of the Cent Journey to the Center of the Earth. This is the man from Uncle. This is Rib Tickler. Never heard of that one, but it's a uh, from 1959. All right, here we go. This is our next giveaway. It's our five o'clock giveaway. This is Lobo. Lobo. If you guys don't know who Lobo is, Lobo is like DC's answer to Wolverine. Uh, he's kind of a badass, uh, always smarting off, doing his thing. Well, maybe he's his DC's answer to uh, Deadpool because he kind of more reminds me of Deadpool. Um, this is a four issue miniseries called Infanticide, Infanticide, I should say, uh, one through four, all four issues. Uh, the art, <coughs> um, is by Keith Giffen, which is really kind of a crazy art style. All four books, you get one through four. That's kind of cool. Uh, so to win that, all you got to do is type in. Lobo into the comment section and you will get that book for free. All right, Aaron wants John, John Wayne book for 15. What I do with that? What I do with it? Did I take that down? Now the question is what I did with it. All right, Aaron, we got you. Yeah, just like that. Everybody's typing in Lobo. Thanks, guys. I don't know if you guys like Lobo or not, but hey, for free, what do you, what else can you do, right? Uh, here's another Batman book. This is Detective Comics number 685. I'm not sure who the villain is here, but he's some blonde-haired dude. 
shirtless like a master of kung fu kind of guy. Uh, six eighty five from nineteen ninety five. No, nineteen ninety five. Yeah, four bucks for Detective Comics. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Not only I'm gonna sit down for just a second. Uh, not only do you get um, a chance to win by typing in Lobo, but in order to win, you gotta like and share too. So please. Do us a favor and uh, like and share the feed. It helps us out in, in a lot of ways uh, by getting more people in. We've had a lot of new people joining us that I hadn't seen before anyway. So thanks for joining us. Uh, I've seen a lot of new names, and I like it. Uh, my name's Jim, by the way, if you if I'm just meeting you for the first time. Uh, welcome. Appreciate having you guys on here on a Saturday afternoon. What time is it? It's 5.05 .05 on a Saturday afternoon. It is really nice here. See the natural sunlight coming in over here. We're having a good time. I'm getting a little thirsty, actually. I need to put a book up there. I've got a blank spot, don't I? If you guys are looking for anything in particular, let me know. Um, I found a lot of old books today, and I've been trying to share those with you but if there's something specific you're looking for new or old or anywhere in the middle um that's what we're here for and it doesn't have to be comics either we can put out um all kinds of stuff we've got a 5,000 square foot f store if you've never seen us check out our facebook page because we've got all kinds of um uh photos and you can see what what we got in the store uh if you don't mind leave us a, a good review while you're there too assuming you have a good review, good something good to say about us. Um, what was I? Oh, yeah, I was just going to put out this. This is um, uh, Prelude to Deadpool Core number one. Pre, uh, Deadpool Core um, consists of there's a lady Deadpool and a kid Deadpool and a dog Deadpool. Kind of crazy stuff. This is uh, Prelude to Deadpool Core number one, four bucks. Christian, we're still looking for that book for you. We'll probably find it at the when we're least expecting to find it, but we'll find it at some point. What do I got up here without a price tag on it? I think I had a $20 price tag on this man from Uncle, but because it fell off, I'm going to lower it even one more time down to $18 on this. The man from uncle number 21. Uh, Talmadge says, if you find a Harley Quinn first appearance, would you be able to message me and let me know? Uh, Talmadge, unfortunately, uh, the, the weird thing about Facebook is that it won't let us, uh, it actually won't let us message you because it's a business page, and a, it won't let a business page message people. I guess it keeps peep, it keeps businesses from spamming you. So no, we can't message you. Um, however, uh, you can message us first, like right now, with that same message saying, "Hey, would you message me?" And then we can message you back. That might work. Uh, Rob wants to know: Did you see if you had Harley Quinn twenty-five Frank Cho cover? Uh, Rob, we hadn't had a chance yet. I was hoping somebody from the front would come back here. Uh, but we'll we'll try and check that for you here in just a minute. All right, guys, here's your last chance to win this um, Lobo mini series one through four. If you're just joining us, we're going to give that away here in just a minute. And the only way you can win is if you type in Lobo into the comment section and like and share our feed and we're going to give that away in just a few minutes 
Krasavi is looking for the first few issues of the Batman Hush story. Okay. Um, we might have that. That's a absolute maybe. What do we got up here? Uh, Batman. May have to do some digging. All right, thanks, Christian. Any more Chainsaw Friday the 13th or Freddy Krueger? That's a good question. Uh, Jason had pulled out a, he, he had found a book of horror, uh, a box of horror books recently, and uh, it's around here somewhere. And uh, if I find those, I'll put those out too, Brian. All right, I'm going to start clearing the board a little bit, get some new stuff out. Fre Who do I got? Oh, that Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy, sorry, Jimmy, you got to go. Superman pal. He's kind of annoying, really. Uh, how about this one? This is Shazam number 11 with one magic word, Shazam, the original Captain Marvel. Uh, this one has got some writing on it, and the condition isn't great. I had a $5 price tag on it, and then after I saw the writing on it, I'm going to mark that down a little bit. Yeah, bye-bye, Jimmy. Uh, I'm going to mark this down to $3. Uh, this is really a 20-cent book for 3 bucks. You can't beat that, even if it does have a little writing on it. And what else did we see? We had Jimmy Olsen, then we had Daredevil. Daredevil is going to come down. Here is another D uh, DC Comics Tales of the Unexpected. Uh, this is the Death Race. Some guys are riding horses that look like fish. You guys have to see this to believe it. Rob gets uh, Shazam for three. Some horses that have fish heads. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Five dollars on that. This is originally a 12 cent book. This is Tales of the Unexpected, number 102. And anybody, Jason wants Tales of the Unexpected. Anybody that's around my age, you know, you guys looking at the screen saying, okay, am I around his age or not? Well, if you remember the Little Rascals when watching when you were a kid, then yes, you are around my age. This is the Vidal Comics, 10-cent book, Spanky and Alfalfa, The Little Rascals, Four Hilarious Adventures, The New Teacher. Well, I'm not going to name off all of it, but this is from 1959. Um, this is, what is that, 62 years old? Yeah, 60, Wow. Uh, the Little Rascals, if you remember the black and white comic, or I mean car, um, TV show, you'll like this book. This is uh, number one, 1079. This is $6, Little Rascals, 6 bucks. All right, what do we got here? Journey to the Sin of the Earth. All right, here's our winner for Lobo. One through four. Brian, you just claim Little Rascals, and not only did you claim Little Rascals, but you also get the Lobo because you just won that as well. Congratulations, Brian. Everybody, congratulate Brian on winning the Lobo. You'll enjoy that, I believe.
Okay, I have a question for you guys. So I'm looking at the feed here, and while I'm looking at it, when you guys typed in congratulations, Brian, or congrats, Brian, every time you typed it in, it's red. Do you, is that like that on yours too, Andrew? That's weird. I mean, that's not, I mean, it's just uh, mildly interesting, I suppose. Every every time the word congrats or congratulations comes up, it's in red on my screen. Hmm. Uh, here's Strange Adventures number 208. Uh, a 12 cent comic looks like starring featuring Dead Man. That's a cool cover too. A 12 cent comic number 208. Um, I don't know much about Dead Man. I mean, you can possess somebody's body, I guess. I guess that's a power you can have as a superhero, but how does that help you, really? I don't know. $8 for that one. Oh, there was my $20 price tag I lost. Alcadri says, do you know one of them costs $1,000? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Jason gets Strange Adventures for 8 All right, we're going to continue with the string. Rib Tickler for 10 Yeah, what what is 1000? I'm not sure. Uh Dead Man starring in Strange Adventures. Here's the what number was that first one? 210. This is number 211. This one is in slightly better condition, but I'm going to let it go for $8 too. Eight dollars for uh, Strange Adventures, Dead Man Again. Why so low prizes? Brian, that was uh, Four Color Comics, Volume 2, Little Rascals, yeah. Why so low? Pro I don't know what you mean. Uh, I gave away just a four-part miniseries of Lobo. I don't know. Um, we've given away two prizes. I don't know if you mean dollar-wise or just so few prizes. But we've been on, we've been live for about two hours and 15 minutes. I've given away two prizes, and they were pretty decent. I don't know. That, was, that probably retailed for, I don't know, 15 bucks or something. Uh, here's another Dell Comic 10 Cent book. This is Timmy. Before the South Park Timmy, though, was this Timmy. And this Timmy, I don't know anything about him, uh, but it's from 1959. And he's on roller skates pulling another kid on roller skates. I don't know anything about it. It's a four-color book, uh, originally for $4. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's a four-color book, originally for $0.10. Cents. Um, this thing is retail for about ten dollars. I'm gonna let it go for eight. Timmy, eight dollars. Yeah, Alcatree. I don't know. I don't. I'm just picking stuff that are just kind of cool. I thought the people would like. I'm not I'm not picking it based on the pricing or anything. I mean, I'm not going to give away, you know, a $100 slab book or something, but um I I'm just picking stuff. I give I sometimes I give away a graphic novel. Sometimes I give away just a pop. You know, they all average out around, you know, 10, 12, 20, something like that. So, it's just random. I'm not trying to um you know, give I'm not just giving away um crap either. So, you know, sometimes if you guys watch when I when we do feeds, you know, sometimes I'll give away a, a pop or a, you know, but it is free. You know, sometimes we give away, uh, you know, ten dollar store credit or something. You know, it's always around ten, twelve, fifteen, sometimes twenty dollars. You know, it all depends what's going on. So, <clears throat> although I don't remember you buying anything today either, so just I'm just saying, if you if you bought something, you might have a little more room to argue the point maybe I don't know
Yeah, I know you can't please everybody, but um, Google one of the books and look how you're going to get on eBay or something like this. Alan Kutry, are you are you just talking about the books I'm giving away? I'm about tired of the conversation anyway, but um, are you saying that I'm giving away too cheap of books? Is that what you're saying? I just saw four books. That was a mini series. I thought it'd be cool to give away. That's the last I'm saying about it. Uh, here's Marvel Tales starring uh, Spider-Man. The coming of the kangaroo. Spider-Man is taking on the kangaroo in Marvel Tales. We'll put this out for $4. I got several blank spots out there, don't I? Rob gets Spider-Man for four. Thanks, Rob. Uh, here is X-Force first collector's issue, or first item. It's got, the, this is X-Force number one. Bagged and boarded. Has a couple collector's cards inside there. Um, we'll put that out for four bucks. Jason gets Strange Adventures. I think that's the one. It's all ro good, Rob. I got you. Oh, yeah. X Force number one. First issue. Four dollars. If I could learn to write, it would be helpful. Four dollars. Still polybagged. All right, here's another. Str this is Strange Adventures number one seventy eight. The Runaway Comet. Comet. That comet is changing us all into Stone Age cavemen. Okay. Christian wants X-Force for four. Christian, you just be Rob out for that one. This is another Marvel tale starring Spider-Man, The Night of the Prowler, number 59. This is in great shape, too. But I'm going to leave it at $4. Number 59. Jason wants Strange Adventures. There you go. Rob gets Spidey for four. Okay. Here, this is a kind of an interesting book right here. This is um, Dell 15 Cent Comic. Leave it to Beaver. Now, I know everybody's heard of Leave it to Beaver, right? This has got a photo cover on it from 1961. Uh, a 2.0 version, a, 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 um, a 2.0 copy of this goes for $37. And uh, that's about what this is um, because somebody named Roy wrote his name on it in pencil, and it's just a worn copy. So I'm gonna, I would actually give it probably about a 2. And it sells for $37. But today, we looked it up today. But I just like, what do, what, what do I even sell Leave it to Beaver for? I don't know. Um, it sells for $37 in its current condition. 
I'm going to let it go for $21. $21 for Leave It to Beaver, a Dell comic. Beaver and his brother Wally. Speaking of Wally, is Wally still on here? Uh, $21 for Leave It to Beaver. Actually, I, you know what? I'd probably give that a three. Now that I'm thinking about it, that. It's not two, because I think two, I'm thinking like it's falling apart. That thing's not falling apart. It's just in, it's really worn, and somebody wrote their name Roger in pencil at the top. Damn you, Roger. All right, Dennis wants to leave it to Beaver. I'm going to say you want, normally, Dennis, we say, hey, put your put the title and the and the amount. So, But I'm going to assume at this point that you want leave it to Beaver 21. And thank you, Dennis. Here's a cool one. This is uh, House of Mystery number 116, Return of the Barstow Beast. It's kind of like Frankenstein. I don't know what the difference is. Um, we have a $7 price tag on it. I'm going to let it go for $6. House of Mystery number, what number was that? 116, $6. Yeah, that was a good buy, I think, anyway. Here's another another Marvel's Tales. This is um, Brian gets the mystery. Brian, you just beat out Jason for that one. Here's a uh, Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man. Spider-Man's caught in a net. That seems kind of unlikely, but hey, we'll go with it. Four dollars for that one. Marvel Tales number sixty-six. Looks like the kingpin on the cover, but it doesn't say it's the kingpin. Here's another house of mystery. <clears throat> Dial H for hero. Number 172. But the condition wise, uh, this is pretty bad. This is a two or three. Rob gets Spidey for... Rob gets Spidey for four. This House of Mystery, I'm going to let it go cheap because it's in bad shape. I'm going to let it go for $3. House of Mystery, number 172, dial H for Mystery. No, dial H for Hero. That's what it is. Here is uh, Tales of the Unexpected, number 90. 12 cent comic from DC. Uh, we have $14 on this. I'm going to let it go for $11. $11 for Tales of the Unexpected. My twin, the Tiger Man. Yes, it is a Tiger Man walking around, and he's somebody's twin. What we got up here? Deadpool. All right, let's do this. I have a Deadpool core number one. I have a Deadpool core number five. Both of these books are $4. Both Deadpool books together. And here we've got Batman for four. It may be a book that someone's already got. How about uh, instead of that Batman for four, we do Detective Comics number 610. This is a cool looking book. Uh, here lies the Penguin. Wally gets Deadpool for four. This is Deadpool number 610 from 1990 for $4. Here's another Marvel Tales number 61 starring Spider-Man on the trail of the chameleon. Chameleon's the one that can make himself look like anybody, right? Kind of like Clayface, is that right? I think so. Andrew says yes. Mm -hmm. 
Ryan gets Spidey for four. Here is Metal, speaking of uh, changing, this is Metal Morpho, The Element Man, a 12-cent comic from DC. Um, he can change himself into different elements. You know, water, earth, all that stuff. And the fret, he's called, this is Metal Morpho, The Fab Freak of 1001 Changes. Um, number 13. Condition-wise, I'd give it about a four. And I'm going to put it out for $5. Jason gets Tales of the Unexpected for 11. Here's a book called Mr. District Attorney. What, what was the secret behind Mr. DA's wi Mystery Witness? I guess this is kind of like a courtroom drama comic. Ten cent comic. Metamorpho for five. Uh, we have a twelve dollar price tag on this. I am going to let it go for eight dollars. Mr. District Attorney number sixty five from nineteen fifty eight. Early comic. Philip Chung, my friend, is saying something is overpriced. And what are you going to do? I'm not sure what I have overpriced, but Philip, there is no obligation to buy anything. But we appreciate you stopping by. Here's Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man, The Kingpin Strikes Back. Yeah, now this is the Kingpin for sure. This is four dollars. Rob gets Spidey for four. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate that. Eric, have we met before? I think you, you look familiar. You thanks, R G thanks, Rob. Appreciate that. Hey, uh, here's Voyage to the Deep, a Dell 12 cent comic. Um, Voyage to the Deep is kind of one of those, you know, one uh, journey to the center of the earth, uh, 50,000, 20,000 leagues below the sea, one of those type of stories. Uh, I'm going to put this out for $5. Uh, originally a 12 cent comic from Dell. We have a lot of Dells today. Rob, I appreciate you saying that. Really, really do. I'm going to take Man from Uncle Down. I don't think that's striking anyone's fancy today. Yeah, you can't please everyone, I suppose. We try our best, but if you don't like the price, I don't understand, you know, if you don't like it, why say anything? Just, you know, just go away. Uh, yeah, it's thirty-five dollars for the uh, cap shield, and um, well, there it is. It's um, it's a plastic one. I think. Do we still have a metal one? Yeah. We still have a metal one. I think it goes for like sixty or something, right? I think the metal one's made out of antimadium. No, not really. I've got several blank spots out there, don't I? You guys want any more? Mo I've been putting a lot of older stuff out. Do you guys want some more newer stuff? Or do you want me to keep going with the old stuff? Here's uh, the Marvel tale starring Spider-Man. The Lizard Lives... Four dollars. This is number fifty-seven. Spider-Man taking on the lizard. Uh, Rob, I don't have any more John Wayne. Unfortunately, that was the only one I had. I do believe. <clears throat> this one's kind of weird. This one is uh, Mars Patrol, 
Marine Attack Rescue Service. Uh, a 12 cent comic. A city is doomed unless the Mars team can penetrate the invader's curtain of, vid of invisibility. Uh, we have a $14.50 price tag on it. Uh, I'm going to let it go for $6. Take that for overpriced. $6 on Mars Patrol. Brian gets Spidey. Here's a cool one. This is Marvel Tales. These, all these Marvel Tales, I don't know where we had them, but they're all in great shape uh, considering their age. This, these are all probably sevens or so. Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man. Spidey tangles with a strange new supervillain, the Schemer. Four dollars. I'm gonna just stay with four dollars on these. Any Three Stooges books? Um, you know, I think it was the, the actually the very last sale that I did. I had a. Did, I don't know if anybody bought them, but I had a couple of Three Stooges. If nobody bought them, I'll see if I can still find them. Jason wants Mars Patrol and District Attorney. Let me put that price tag on it. The price tags are flying all over the place. Uh, Garrett wants some Walking Dead. I can get some Walking Dead, sure. Um, let's see if we can find some Stooges. What was the other one? That, uh, District Attorney. Where is District Attorney? Yeah, there we go. Sean's looking for Sean, you looking for some DC, like anything in particular DC? Oh, I still got uh what do I have out there right now? Oh, that's Timmy. Old Timmy. Timmy coming down. And here we've got Dial H for Hero. Uh House of Mystery. Uh, he wanted the, um, is there a Bristol board or whatever? Like a Bristol board? Uh, oh, no, he wants the Frank Cho cover. This is not, no, this isn't it. But we'll see if he still wants it. But uh, What's the book we got up for seven? Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the Outer Limits. Forgot about our Zoom window. Uh, yeah, this is the Outer Limits number 15. Uh, we've got a ten dollar price tag on it in the store. Uh, we I drew I just dropped it down to seven. But uh, Brian wants Marvel Tales for four. Frank Cho, yeah. Uh, Rob, um, Andrew just went and got this Harley Quinn book, but it's not the Frank Cho cover. It's just the red. It's the only one we got. This regular. I don't know who did this cover, but uh, no Frank Cho. Unfortunately, here is an old book, uh, The Rip Hunter Time Master from DC, an old 12 cent comic. Uh, it's in not great shape and it retails for, it goes for $10. Uh, apparently Rip Hunter goes back in time and meets Cleopatra. Uh, we have a $10 value on this, but I'm going to put it out for six. Rip Hunter Time Master, an old 12 cent DC book. Yeah, I guess we sold out of those, Rob. I love me some Frank Cho. He's awesome. All right, here's a, I'd never heard of this book before today. This is Milton Kenneff, whoever Milton Kenneff is. Milton Kenneff's Steve Canyon. 
Sudden silence from a top secret jet sends Steve Canyon on a mission to solve the mystery of Operation Mayday. We have $12 on this. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to say $6 on Milton Caniff's Steve Canyon. I guess Steve Canyon is like a 007 kind of guy, maybe? Yeah, I envy Frank Cho and his ability to draw. Oh, man, he's so awesome. Here's a Marvel tale starring Spider-Man, also starring Craven the Hunter. From 1977, this is number 83, four bucks. Sean, I'm just now seeing your message. I've asked three times if you have any Wonder Woman, please respond if you do. Sean, if you've asked three times, I apologize. Sometimes messages don't go through. That's the first time I've seen. Have you guys seen his, have you seen Sean's message before now? Nobody's seen your message before now, but we are seeing it now. Uh, but yes, we have Wonder Woman. I just saw some earlier. I'll get some out for you. And Rob gets Spidey for four. It's weird. I don't know why Facebook does this, but sometimes it just doesn't let us see your messages. I don't know why. I, it's something we cannot explain. But all I can suggest is sometimes if it does it to anybody else, to sometimes just change your message. Like if you type the same thing and you don't and we don't answer you, type it in a different way, like change up the order of the words or something. Because I don't know if Facebook thinks that you're spamming us or something, but I don't know. It's just weird. All right, I have currently an Outer Limits out there for seven. And I have another Outer Limits that's uh, number five. Wow. It's worth about $10. I'm going to go ahead and sell both books, both Outer Limits. This is number five and number 15. This one's kind of cool. This number five is The Invasion is On, A Flying Saucer is Shot Down. By Boy Rocketeers. This is, I mean, this is the epitome of what comic books used to be about. I can imagine back in the late 50s <clears throat> reading comic books when it was the only form of entertainment. This is before, obviously, Netflix and, you know, any sort of real way to get your sci-fi on. Reading a comic like this and just being mesmerized. Uh, this, both books of The Outer Limits for 12 bucks. In the meantime, here is another Marvel Tales. This is number 85, starring Spider-Man. Revealed the face of Spider-Man. Somebody's telling on Spider-Man who he really is. Four bucks on that. I've got room for another one. Sean, I, won't, I haven't forgotten your request for Wonder Woman um, as soon as I find some. It may be the next show, Sean, before I can get the Wonder Woman, because I don't know if I have any back here. But I know we've got a whole store full of stuff with Wonder Woman is definitely one of the things that we carry. But the question is, Sean, if you're looking for, like, recent Wonder Woman or older stuff. Any other 70s TV show comics? Uh, yeah, I may have a couple back here. Let's see. Uh, so Garrett was just asking for some Walking Dead. I don't know if you have this one or not, Garrett, but this is Walking Dead number 167. A recent issue with something major goes down in this issue. I'm not going to say what. 
Um, but this is four dollars for Walking Dead number one sixty seven. Brian, did you see when I had the Hardy Boys out earlier? Gosh, I don't know where the time goes. But it's almost 6 o'clock and almost time for another giveaway. No hardy boys for you. Hopefully when I do this giveaway, everyone will be pleased with if it's adequate enough. Rob wants to know, any Marvel old cowboy stuff by chance? Hmm. Hmm. That's right, Rob. It does fly. Did you guys see the... Uh, this? Now, this is DC. I've got several DC Tomahawk, which are some westerns, of course. But um, old Marvel westerns, I'll see if we can find some. It may be for the next show because... Uh, and I'm, You know what? I'm going to go ahead and write those down. Garrett wants to know, do we have Walking Dead 166? Uh, I'm guessing we do, Garrett. I'll see if we can find that. I'm, I'm going to start making a list of what we need here. Walking Dead. Walking Dead. 166. Marvel Westerns. Wonder Woman. Is there anything else that people are asking for that I haven't? Somebody wants first appearance of Harley Quinn, but uh, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> you never know, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, yeah, Stooges. Three Stooges. Uh, 70s TV shows. All right, let's see. What do we got out there now? Okay, you know what I'm going to do just to clear the board? <coughs> let's do let's do a half price sale right now. Anything that's on the board right now, half price. Okay, Gary, yeah, send us some half price for anything on the board. Seventies and eighties Wonder Woman. Okay. By the way, Sean, I don't know if you knew this. Uh, there is a um, a book called uh, Wonder Woman seventy seven. All right, Rob, you got Spidey. Brian is going to get two Outer Limit books. That's cool. Rob, you're getting the uh, Walking Dead for two. You just beat Garrett. Uh, let's see. What is it? Eight books, three. Um. Oh, well, I can't do the bundles. Uh, the bundles I can't do. Gary gets the detective for two. Okay. Yeah, I can't do the bundles at that price. Anyway, hey, speaking of Walking Dead, I don't know if this is, uh, Got some sawdust on this way. We were drilling holes in here. Uh, this is uh, this is kind of cool. This is uh, the Walking Dead uh, two pack of Negan and Glenn standing side by side as if they were friends. We all know they're not. Uh, this sells for fifty dollars for this two pack. Um, uh, 
let's see. We sell it for fifty. I would let that go today for forty-four dollars. For I'll leave that up for a minute while we get some new stuff out there. I'm gonna put it right there. What did I have here for six? Oh, that's the Steve Canyon. But I'm gonna take that down. Nobody wants Steve Canyon. Wonder Woman toys too. Okay, Sean, we may have some of them. Sean, will you be back at seven thirty? Will you stay on long enough to to come back at seven thirty? Because we we always go till seven, and then we'll take a break from seven to seven thirty. That allows us to uh, get get a little something to eat and drink, and uh, look for the stuff people are looking for. If you'll come back, if you'll come back at seven thirty, I'll have some Wonder Woman stuff for you, whether it's toys or books or whatever. And for the other stuff too, I can't prom. I do have Wonder Woman stuff. I can't promise the other things because I know we have them. It's just a matter of we our store is so big. Sometimes it's hard to find everything, but. I'm just going to go ahead and clear the board because if you guys don't want this stuff at half price, chances are you're not going to want them at any other price. All right, here's Marvel Tale starring Spider-Man. Beware the Black Widow. Four bucks on that. Oh, this is cool. You guys know who Mike Mignola is? He writes, uh, writes, he created Hellboy. And um, he did the cover on this Batman. Actually, Detective. This is Detective Comics number 583. I recognize that artwork the moment I saw it. Mike Mignola is doing the Batman, which kind of makes sense. Hellboy is kind of Batman-ish like. $4 on that. Haven't had any Flash out today. Here's a Flash number 237. From 2008, almost 10 years ago. Uh, I'm going to put it out at a really good price. $3 for the Flash, number 238. Here's a Wolverine, number 43. Wolverine is about to be stabbed in the back. By what looks to be a knife welding zombie, it's not going to hold well for that zombie, I'm telling you. Four dollars right there. Okay, nobody wants The Walking Dead. Yeah, speaking of bundles, by the way, if anybody's just joining us and wants to know what this is, this is a, a um, eight-book random bundle. It has, obviously, eight books in it, but it could have anything from Golden Age, Bronze, Modern, Usually it's a good mix of all of them. Sometimes I'll have a Walking Dead 100, or say it'll have you know a good dollar, a good high dollar book in there. Uh, sometimes we'll put money in there. Sometimes we'll have five dollars, ten dollars, even twenty dollars. We've been known to put in there. Uh, these are really cool to have buy, and we love hearing what people get because there's usually a good story in there. Uh, you said seven. What time zone? I'm in Arizona, Sean. We we are let's see, seven o'clock. We are in the Eastern Time Zone for us. You're on the West Coast, I assume, right? So 7 for us would be 4 o'clock for you, I think. Or so 7.30 would be 4.30 for you, I think. Unless you're on Mountain Time, then it would be 5.30 for you. Okay, it's almost time for next giveaway. Somebody think of something good to give away. Uh, let's see. The Amazing Spider-Man number 414 from 1996, 21 years ago. Holy cow. $4 on that. Oh, this one's cool. This is uh, Weapon X, number one, from the page, the pages of the Age of Apocalypse. If you guys ever check that story out, it's really cool. The Age of Apocalypse, alternate universe for for Marvel and the X Men. This is by Adam Kubert. Garrett gets ASM. Sean, yeah. 
Why not give away Wonder Woman? You like Wonder I, If I had some Wonder Woman I even knew where some was, I, I might give some away. Uh, this Weapon X, this is a cool storyline. Wolverine has lost one of his hands. Uh, Cyclops has lost one of his eyes. They kind of mangled each other. But this is Weapon X number one. Very cool storyline. Number uh, number one for five bucks. We had somebody looking for action comics or early Superman earlier today. I don't know if they're still on. I can't remember who it was. Uh, this is Action Comics number 35. Superman is trying to hold back a comet that's about to hit the Earth. Five bucks on that. Sean wants, please put five in the close-up window. Okay, cool. Or was it this one? I got five here and five here. Well, let's assume you want action. I don't know. We'll, if you don't, we'll change it up. Glad to see you're still with us, Jack. Yeah, okay, that was you. I'll try and find some more. Uh, here is, here's a cool book. This is Fathom Number 1 by the late Michael Turner. Michael Turner was one of the premier artists back in the day. Uh, he had a lot of... Um, did a lot of the stuff for Image. Uh, then he created his own uh, company called Aspen Comics. Uh, Fathom Number One was a story about a kind of like a female version of Aquaman, but his art was so spectacular. We still have people coming to the store sometimes saying, "Hey, do you got anything that's got Michael Turner's art on it?" It's Fathom Number One, five bucks. Uh, here's Nightwing. Number 35, part of the No Man's Land storyline when Gotham had been quarantined off from the west rest of the world, basically. Uh, Nightwing number 35 for three bucks. Brian's getting Marvel Tales. All right, boys and girls, it's time for the next giveaway. It is 6 o'clock, Eastern time anyway, not in Arizona, but it's 6 o'clock here. Hey, let's give away a pop. I don't know if it's too cheap to give away, but hey, we're going to do it. This is Lockjaw from the Inhumans. Now, of course, Lockjaw and Inhumans, they're going to have their new TV show, their own TV show here pretty soon. This dog can teleport you anywhere in the world. I don't know how he knows where to go, but this is what we're going to give away. If you want to win that, let me see if you guys can see that. That pop, all you got to do 
Somebody guess what you're going to have to do. Yes, exactly. You type in Lockjaw. Christian gets Weapon X for five. All you got to do is type in Lockjaw. All you got to do is type in Lockjaw into the comments feed and like and share. And you will be entered into our drawing to win this free Lockjaw. And how did they come up with the name Lockjaw, by the way? Andrew doesn't know. I don't know. If somebody could tell us how they came up with the lockjaw, that would be great. I've got several empty spots out there. Okay, somebody, I think it was Rob, <coughs> was looking for the Frank Cho version of the Harley Quinn. Now, I don't have it, and Andrew brought me this. This is the latest issue of Harley Quinn. Since he brought me this one, I'm going to go ahead and put it out to sell. This is cover price. In case no, in the case you don't have it yet, this is Harley Quinn 25. This is the extra-sized anniversary. I guess it's more like, I don't know, 32 pages or something instead of the normal 20-some-odd pages. So there is there is Harley Quinn number 25 if you don't have it yet. All right, Shauna, come back and see us. Come back. No, come back at 530. We'll be gone at 7, or which will be 5 your time. Come back at 730. 5.30 your time. Here is a Marvel tale starring Spider-Man, The Madness of Mysterio, number 49. Four bucks. All right, Rob is telling us how Lockjaw came to be. At one time, he locked onto the thing's arm and the thing could not let him go. Was, okay, well, that would make sense. So Lockjaw can teleport himself and nearby living creatures and matter to anywhere he wants. Well, I was hoping you I was hoping you copied and pasted that because if you knew all that, you are one hell of a nerd, I'll tell you. Uh, can open passage between dimensions, energy barriers that are similar. Okay, cool. That's pretty awesome to know that. I didn't know all that about Lockjaw. What is the action? Somebody's asking. Where do I have the action comp? Oh, that's um. This is Action Comics number four eighty. Um, probably from around the er late seventies, early eighties. I don't know. I have it in the Zoom window because somebody asked to see it. It's nothing special. It's just um, you know. If you have Avenger and Batman and anything along those lines, what I'm looking for, okay. Yep, that's why we're all hurt. What's why we're all here? We are all nerds, I'll tell you. Okay, so um, this Nightwing number 35, I thought I'd give do something for something special for you guys. This is um, night. I have this is that was Nightwing and that was number 35, and I realized I had a whole bunch of Nightwing back here. I have 33, 34, 35, 36, or 7. I have six Nightwing books. And um, four of them are part of the No Man's Land storyline. So that'd be cool to get all those. Um, so I have six Nightwing books. I want to put them together in a Nightwing bundle. All six Nightwing books. Uh, let's put all six out for $13. $13 for... Nightwing 30, what was it, 32 through, no, 33 through 38. All right, somebody, let's see, uh, Talmadge is looking for Batman. Uh, 
Um, I've got Batman in Detective Comics right here. This is number 614. Batman is taking on a gang of bikers. Four bucks right there. Gabe's getting ready to watch the fight. Yeah, that we wanted to watch that. But um, what time are they? So the main event or the main card starts at eight o'clock. But what time do you guys think that the fight's actually gonna, the that that fight is gonna happen? Is it gonna be like at eleven or something? I'm curious. I'm trying to find out right now what time that would start. All right, guys, last chance to win this free pop right here. This is Lockjaw from the Inhumans. If you want to win that, you have to type in like. You have to like and share, and you have to type in Lockjaw into the comments feed, into the uh, into the comments feed. Uh, Rob wants Harley Quinn for four since you were so awesome to look for. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. Uh, probably won't. You think it'd be that late? Because if it's that late, I could still watch it. I know a place that's going to be showing it tonight, but um, it's going to take me like an hour and a half to get there. It's close to where I live. And by the time I leave here, I don't know if I have time. So it would be awesome. And I don't want to pay $100 myself to, to, to watch it. No fight's worth $100 to me. It just isn't. Unless I was doing it and we all invited all you guys over. And we had a big party or something, then maybe we could do it. But but just to go home by myself and watch it? No. No can do. Do I have a Marvel Tales up there right now? I can't tell. I do have a Marvel Tales. Okay. Yeah, that helps when you have 10 people pitching in. I was saying earlier that I did a pay-per-view years ago with uh, Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis, and it was like 50 bucks, and everybody came over and then pitched in like $5 or something. And that was a lot of fun. Gabe, where you live? I'm coming to your house, buddy. Me and Andrew McKaylee, we're going to come over there and uh, crash your party. Well, how's a fire stick? I don't have a fire stick. How's that going to help me anyway? Can you get it without paying for it with a fire stick, Billy Bob? Yeah, Gabe should invite us all over. Gabe, where do you live? Colorado. Yeah, it might be cheaper that way, I guess. Uh, some Who was it? Talmadge was just asking for Batman. Here's another Batman. This is Batman Legends of the Dark Knight. Number 172, I'm going to let it go for three bucks. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight. All right, I'm going to give until this timer. I got this little timer here. It's a three-minute timer. When that runs out, I'm going to set it down there. You're going to, that's your last chance to type in Lockjaw and win that uh, little Funko Pop down there. Uh, how many, I got one more empty screen. Spot down there, don't I? I think that's the first time I've put a Marvel Tales out there that didn't sell. Maybe everybody's got that one. I've only got a few more left. I haven't had any Star Wars books out yet today. This is Star Wars Empire uh, from Dark Horse number eight. Looks like this is a. Uh, Story of Luke Skywalker and his friend. What was his name? Uh, Biggs Darklighter. Yeah. Oh, I think I want to read this myself. That artwork is cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put this out for $4. If nobody buys this, I'm taking it home tonight and reading it. I'll just tell you. Don't feel obligated to buy it or not buy it. We've got more. What's the $5 common name? Oh, this is Fathom Number 1 by Michael Turner. I'm surprised no one's bought that by now, really. All right, when this timer runs out, we are going to make a drawing for 
the lockjaw. All right, I'm going to start pulling some other stuff to make room for more stuff. Uh, there's the Marvel Tales. Nobody wants that Marvel Tales. That's surprising because every single one I've put up today has been sold. And there's a detective that nobody wanted, the Mike Mignola cover. That's surprising, too. Oh, you know what's cool? On the back of this uh, Marvel Tales is an ad for this Evil Knievel toy that I had when I was a kid. You put this motorcycle on with the action figure. Does anybody remember this? You put the you put the motorcycle in this little um, what they even call it? I don't know what they called it, but you put in this little device and you cranked it up, and it took off. It took off and it could do flips and stuff. That's so cool. Hmm. Yeah, that was a cool toy. I played with that thing many days. Uh, Garrett says he sent the message with my Batman New 52 list. Okay, Garrett, we'll try and get it for you. Do you want us to try and fill it during the break and come back with the books, or you just want them? What, tell us what you want to do. All right, I'm going to do a little giveaway, a mini giveaway. This is I'm going to sell this book. This is Marvel Tales number 72. And I'm going to throw it in with this Marvel Tales that's up there. So you basically get two Marvel books for two. Uh, yeah, Rob, this uh, Detective Comics here with a Mike Mignola cover. This was Batman number 583. Uh, four bucks. Rob gets Spidey for four. Thanks, Rob. All right, you got this detective, Rob. All right, we got a winner. Yes, our timer is out. Our winner for the Lockjaw Pop is Garrett Minster. Congratulations, Garrett. Everybody congratulate him for that big pop win. Congratulations, buddy. Any luck on the Betty Page? There's only no. Uh, I'm going to write that down, Billy. Bob, sorry, I hadn't had a chance to look for that one, but we'll look for it um, during the break. Betty Page, blank cover. We'll do it. We'll do a check on that. All right. I've, you're welcome, Billy Bob. Uh, this is uh, Thundercats number one. This is a different story from the one I had out earlier today. This is Thundercats number one. Hammer Hands Revenge. This is from Wildstorm. Uh, part of DC's uh, line back. I think this was in the mid-2000s or so. Uh, let's put that out for $5. This is Thundercats number one of five Hammer Hands Revenge. I'm going to try and go through the rest of our Marvel tales before we 
because I've only got a few left uh, for for um, before the we we break for seven o'clock. This is Marvel Tales, starring Spider Man uh, against Doc Ock. Who else would it be? Number seventy four dollars. And do I have a full load again? Also, Jack, I'm going to look for some um, old action or Superman comics during the break, too. Talmadge wants Marvel Tales for four. All right, I've got two... Uh, one of the last books, I, last few books that I've gotten, these uh, old books that I pulled today, are these Tomahawk books. Some old westerns. All right, Rob, we'll see you. Uh, this, these Tomahawk books, this is number 65 and number 71. Uh, their current value is around 12 and $16. I'm going to let both of them go. Both books go. For thirteen dollars, thirteen dollars for both tomahawks. Now they both sell for twelve and sixteen dollars. You can have them both for thirteen. What do we got here for three? Batman the Dark Knight. Which one is it again? Um, number 70. Do I have a Marvel Tales out there right now? No, I don't. Uh, here's Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man and the Prowler. This is number 74, four bucks. I'll put it over on this side now. Which book did Talmadge you get, just to be clear? Number 70, Talmadge. That's the one you got. All right, Talmadge gets another Marvel Tales. All right, I've only got a couple of these left. This is Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man uh, and Spider-Man Fights in London. Number 76, $4.
All right. Uh, I did find one Wonder Woman that was close by. It's not 70s or 80s Wonder Woman, but it's from 2001. This is uh, Wonder Woman 175, Joker's Last Laugh. So it stars Joker as well. Superman has got a Jim Lee cover also. Jim Lee cover, uh, Joker and Wonder Woman. $6 on that. Take Fathom down. Uh, here's also just a regular Batman. This isn't detective or anything. This is just regular Batman. This is Batman number 468. Written by Chuck Dixon. We'll go $4 on that. Detective. All right, we'll take Detective down and replace it with actual Batman. Hey, where did everybody go? We're down to 14 people all of a sudden. Four hours is a long time for anybody to watch a show. I guess you wouldn't sit and watch a movie for... Barely two hours, right? <clears throat> I'm going to sit down for just a second. My back starts to hurt after a while. I'm getting too old to stand for four hours, you know? Talmadge is still here. Talmadge, where are you from? I always like asking where people are from. It's fun. Fun to see where everybody's tuning in from. We have people tuning in from... People right down the street to the other side of the world, to the other side of the country, Missouri. Okay. It's 20 after 6. If um, we get a few people that uh, sometimes we stop early, like 6 o'clock or 6.30 or something, if we get down too low. Sometimes it just happens. If our viewership gets down too low, we'll just come back at a you know, slightly different time. So just want to make sure everybody's still with us. I've been to Missouri a few times. I worked there one summer in a summer camp just outside of St. Louis. That was fun, but it was in the middle out of nowhere. <laughs> That's I'd hate to guess how many people have actually taken us to the bathroom. It's a scary thought, really. Talmadge wants to know, what's the Batman up front? Let me uh, hang on just a second. I'm using some uh, hand sanitizer here. Hang on just a second. Let me get this off. The Batman up front. This is number 468. Part of the Shadow Box storyline. Uh, the Wonder Woman is number 175 from 2001. This is part of the Joker Last Laugh uh, story. And it's got a Jim Lee cover from 2001. Yeah, I think I said it earlier. Somebody was uh, had took us uh, had took their phone grocery shopping last weekend while we were doing while I was doing the feed anyway. All right, I've got I think I got room for one more book up there. But what do I have here? I have the Flash. Nobody's looking for a Flash today.
tomahawk. I didn't think anybody was going to want these tomahawks. But I thought I'd try it. Thundercats. All right, what if we did this? We have uh, Thundercats Hammer's Revenge number one. And I've got uh, both covers for that. I've got the variant cover for that too. Both of them for five bucks. Yeah, I've actually watched from work too when I've seen Jason get on. I've, I get online and watch him from work and I'll try and share the feed. Try and help everybody out, you know. Christian gets Thundercats for five. Garrett wants two bundles. Yeah, sure. Michaela will take care of that for you. Two bundles. So that would be $12 on the two bundles. Remember I was telling you about Michael Turner who had passed away and um, he had uh, – he he passed away several years ago, but he had started this uh, company called Aspen Comics, and this was a t his, his uh, flagship title called Aspen. I don't have number one, but this is Aspen number two. Um, Aspen was his uh, main character of that title, and so there you go. You have Aspen number two. I don't know why I don't have number one. Uh, but he did the artwork on that too, and uh, I'm gonna let that go for four bucks, four dollars for Aspen. Watch us during class. That's cool. Um, here is Thundercats Dogs of War number one. I'm going to just put it out for $4. Maybe that'll be a better price on the Thundercats number one Dogs of War. <coughs> That's just cover price. So uh, That Batman right here, that's four sixty eight. I'm going to throw in number 467 along with it because that's a two-part story uh, called The um, Shadow Box. Now you get part one and part two there for four bucks. Christian gets Thundercats for four. Talmadge gets Batman? Is it Talmadge or Garrett? Did he get that? Talmadge gets it. Okay. I think I've already got one out there, but, you know, is this it? Um, yeah, I've got a Marvel Tales out there, but this is my last one. This is Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man, uh, number 190. I'm going to let it go for even a better price. I'm going to let it go for three bucks. Marvel Tales number 190. That's my last one, and I still have that one down there for four bucks. <laughs> yeah, Garrett, you got two bundles. Talmadge wants Marvel Tales for four. No, that's not it. Where did I put it? Oh.
Billy Bob, you might as well get it. Uh, you know, winter will be here before long, too, and, you know, it makes a good sled, so. Oh, boy, I got several empty spots out here. All right, speaking of Captain America, let's put a couple of my Captain America books out there. Oh, he's in South Georgia. That's true. I forgot about that. South Georgia, probably not. Uh, Captain America, number 426. Uh, I'm going to let that go for three bucks. Any cool Game of Thrones stuff? Uh yeah, uh, well, I don't know if this is considered cool. I had a uh, Game of Thrones pop out earlier, Bran. Uh, but I can get some Game of Thrones out for the next show, Garrett. Uh, no, Jack, that was uh, Soundgarden playing. I got the lithium going on Sirius. Brienne of Tar, yeah. You guys watching Game of Thrones? It is such a good season. Andrew, you, you guys watch Game of Thrones? You, you guys, don't, you guys got to get on it. Yeah. How can you get distracted by another TV show? That's the best TV show ever, <laughs> ever. Uh, here's Batman and Toy Man mini series number three i'll put that out for three dollars uh bob billy bob i don't know but i'll check we've got a lot of game of thrones pops i'll, I'll check and see if we got it Hey, how about for this last half hour, we have like a really cool quick sale, like some really cheap books. You guys down with that? Who's still on with me? Who are we, like to do a really good sale? I, I'm down. If you guys are down. <coughs> if you guys aren't watching Game of Thrones, you got to check it out. I'm not kidding. It's the best show ever made. Okay. Uh, in order to start having this sale... Um, let's just clear the board real quick. Let's have, um, let's do a half price on everything on the board. Half price for anything on there. So if it's $5, it's two fifty, of course. And if it's $3, it's $1.50. Pretty simple. I just want to clear the board. We can start fresh. And I'll, and I'll tell you this cool sale we're going to have. Or you can buy everything for, what would that be? Um, 15 bucks. Everything on the board for 15. I don't know. I'm just guessing at the price. Every, you can buy everything on the board for 15 or everything's half price. But I can't start the new sale until everything's gone. Spider-Man $1.50. All right, Talmud, you're going to get everything for 15. Except for this. That's always a given. Talmud beat everybody. You get out. Talmud got the board for 15.
All right, I'm going to just put this out of the way over here. So what I'm going to do for the next 25 minutes is everything that uh, that I put out is going to be two bucks, okay? Doesn't matter what it is. I might even just put out some really good books for two bucks. So I'm not even going to put the price tag on them. So if you want something, grab it, okay? In fact, I'm just going to pull stickers off some things that I've already put out. For example, here is Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number 172. So you don't even have to put the price from here until 7 because everyone knows that the price is $2. Okay, here's Captain 425. This is a good book because it's... Um, well, first of all, it retailed for two ninety five back twenty years ago, but it's got like this this almost like an uh, embossed cover where it's raised up over. Um, so this is uh, Captain America number four twenty five. Gary gets Batman for two. Here's Wolverine number forty two. Captain America for two goes to Christian. That's Wolverine. Here's a Batman number four forty six. All right, remember those CrossGen comics I was telling you about? You guys earlier, you may have missed it. CrossGen was a comic book company that came out for a while. Had some really cool stories, but they just never took off. I don't know why. I'm going to put out a couple of them. Uh, here's a book called Route 666. Sounds scary. Two bucks. Here's Venom, number five. All books $2 on the board right now. Here's Transformers Armada, number 16. Here's Robin, number 110. Billy Bob gets Venom. I knew that one wouldn't last. Here's Lone Wolf, 2100. Here's a book from Marvel called The Pulse, number one, by Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Bagley. Here's Captain Marvel from Marvel, of course, uh, number 20. Here's Uncanny X-Men, number 440. Here's Judge Dredd versus Aliens, number three. I got my board full already. How many books I got there? One, two, no, one, two, three. X-Men, where did I put the X-Men? Oh, it's right down there. Thanks, Billy Bob. Here is Catwoman number 26.
So how many about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books on here. There's Josh New. What's up, buddy? He's a, he's just uh, Josh. If you're just joining us, we're having a last minute before we close for the um, first show two dollar sale. So every book you see on the board is ten dollars. <laughs> James Smithers comes in with Captain Marvel. There's Dennis. What's up, buddy? Here's a cool book that Image put out a few years ago that was really awesome. The artwork is just killer. Uh, Red Star number nine. Judge Dread Aliens 2. Oops, where am I going? There's Justin. Everybody's coming in for the late shift, the second shift, I guess. Here's a book called Powers, number 37. Powers uh, was made into a TV show for the PlayStation, Sony Network or something. Play, you can watch it on their your PlayStation, I think. Two bucks, PlayStation, or PlayStation, Powers number 37. James gets Powers for two. Here's a book. Uh, by image called Myth Stalkers. I don't know anything about it, but it's two dollars. Myth Stalkers. <clears throat> All right, so we got ten books out there right now. For two dollars each, that's twenty dollars. For twenty dollars worth of books that I've got out there for two dollars, somebody can grab every one of them for fourteen dollars right now. Every book on the board for fourteen dollars, and then we'll start over again. You can get every book on the board for fourteen dollars right now. I see a Wolverine, a Batman, a Robin, The Pulse. It's a Spider-Man book, basically. Catwoman, Route Six Sixty Six. 10 books for $14. Somebody clear the board for me so I can put some more books up. Lone Wolf for two. All right, James Smithers is going to get that one. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep putting out, I'm going to put out $2 books. And at any given time, somebody can clear the board for two for $14. Cool. $14 to clear the board anytime, at any given time. But in the meantime, you can claim, claim any book for $2. Here is Daredevil number 55. Josh New, what are you up to tonight? Are you going to watch the big fight? Oh, I don't have anything in the Zoom window right now, do I? That's been empty for a long time. Okay, I'm going to. This is a. This was always a cool book. Uh, Stormwatch, number one. We'll have one slightly higher book in the Zoom window for five bucks. All right, have we uh, stalled out? Nobody wants anything for two. Nobody wants every book on the board for 14. All right. Here's what I'm going to do.
to do. I'm just going to clear the board and we'll start again. All right, here we go. We're going to start the next one. Here is Batman 445. Batman is in Russia. Here is Arkham Asylum Living Hell, number three. Here's Batgirl, year one, number five. Who does this book? Chuck Dixon, I thought so. Uh, how about Aquaman, dying from thirst, number ten. Here's a spectacular Spider-Man number 175. Every book on the board that I'm putting up right now is $2. Here's Rogue number four. Rogue got this chromium thing going. Can you see that shininess there? Number four, two bucks. Here's a book from uh, DC Vertigo number two of The Dreaming, part of the Sandman Mythos. Hey, Christian, are you still on here? Uh, Christian was looking for Avengers 51 earlier. Uh, here is The Flash, number one from The Brightest Day. Hey, here's one that's going to be a big, this is a big value for $2. This is Preacher number 42. Here's one, here's a book I had out earlier. Here's Runaways number seven. At any given time, you can buy the whole board for $14. That's 10 books out there for $14. Or you can buy any one individually for 2 bucks each. Guys, I'm thinking we may go ahead and uh, call it a first show com conclusion. Uh, nobody's coming on and claiming anything. And that's okay. We'll come on strong the second half. Um I've got a whole list of uh, requests here that I'm going to try and do before we come back. So we'll be in Andrew, and I was going to say McKaylee was going to get something to eat, but she's already got something to eat, and she's eating right in front of us as we're starving to death. I'm kidding, McKaylee. You can eat all you want. All right, guys. So you want to go ahead and call it an afternoon, Andrew, you think? No, here comes one. Changes to make Pagan. Is that a name? Uh, he wants Spider-Man for two bucks. Uh, Josh wants to know what preacher is that. That's number 42, Josh. And I can't remember that character's name, but uh, 
That's a creepy old guy. I always love these covers that Glenn Fabry covers. This guy's in his underwear and dress shoes. Josh wants preacher for two. Okay, I guess we won't call it a show a show yet. Which is fine by me. I'll keep going. Uh, here's X-Men Unlimited number five. I used to love this book um, because they were bigger than the normal book and really cool stories. X-Men Limited number five. Uh, what Batmans are those up there? Let me see real quick. Uh, X-Men for two to Christian. Hey, Christian, you were the one looking for it. Was it Avengers 51, right? Here, I have, I don't know if this is the same one, but I have Avengers number 50, Christian. Is that the, this isn't the one you were looking at or th that you were trying to get, was it? Because I got Avengers number 50 right here. Let me know if you want it. I'll sell it to you. Uh, Talm Talmadge wants to know what Batmans are those. What do I have up? What Batmans do I have up? This is Batman number 445. I think that's the only Batman I've got right now. Oh, here's a cool one. This is What If... The Age of Apocalypse had not ended. This is What If comic number 81. Yeah, Christian, I'll do a close-up. Uh, Josh, I may have some more preacher back here. Um, the condition, I would just from the outside, I would give it probably, probably about a seven and a half. Of course, that's just judging it from the outside. But um, I'm a pretty conservative grader too. I don't like to go crazy on. You know, I, I never want to oversell something. Then you get it and you go, oh, that's not a seven and a half or something. Billy Bob wants the board for 14. Thanks, uh, Billy Bob. Uh, the Avengers number 50, uh, we were sell as if it's the one we were selling last night, we were selling it for 51, right? But I don't know if it's the same one. Um, but uh, I'm going to give Christian first crack at it because he's the one that asked for it last from the one last night. Avengers 50. Did I forget one? Oh. Thanks, Josh. Christian, are you claiming this for 50? Is that what you're doing? Is it? Are you saying you want this for 50? Okay, if you want this for 50, we'll let you have it for 50, okay? All right, McKaylee thinks that's the one that uh, you wanted last night, Christian. So hey, awesome that we finally got there. That's cool. All right, let's fill up the board one more time. And see what we can do here before we go at seven. So here's X Men Unlimited number six. Uh, looks like the X Men are taking on Sauron. Uh, here's the Shadow number 14.
Billy Bob gets X Men. Here's Preacher number sixty six. Here's all new Wolverine number twenty. Yeah, books are all two are, are all two dollars right now. Josh gets preacher. Here's Spider Man Unlimited number three. Spidey versus Doc Ock again. Oh, all new Wolverine for two. No, uh, Josh. Josh, you got that preacher. All right, we're going down to three minutes here. Here's the flash from the brightest day. Here's Detective Comics number 614. Have you guys been watching Preacher this season on uh, AMC? I've got them recorded, but I haven't watched them. Is it, is it good, this, good this season? <clears throat> Krasavi wants Flash for two. Here's The Untold Tales of Spider-Man number 12. Krasavi gets detective. Here's detective number six oh eight. Here is uh, Spider-Man team-up featuring the Avengers number four. <clears throat> Here's Batgirl number 44. And Aquaman number 10. Detective goes to Krasavi. Here's G.I. Joe number 16. And Spider Girl number 64. a book called Dark Days by Steve Niles. A really horror book I from IDW. Dark Days. What number was that? Dark Days number five. Do I got a full board again? How did that happen? Can I squeeze one more book in there? I think I can. And finally, here is Daredevil number 49 by Brian Michael Bendis. All right, guys, that's our last bunch of books for our first show of the day. <clears throat> it's been a lot of fun. Everybody can claim all those books right now for $14 if they want them. Heck, I'll even throw in the Stormwatch there on the Zoom window. Daredevil for two. Thanks, Chris Avi. Let me put that back up there.
What's the latest I can call and pay over the phone with a card? Uh, Talmadge, you can. Here's the thing. If you buy today, we're not going to have your invoice um, accumulated until tomorrow. So if you can call tomorrow, uh, but tomorrow will be open until 8 o'clock if you want to call. Uh, here's Spider-Man, Dr. Octopus, out of reach, number one. There, uh, let's see, how many books? Are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten books on the board. Uh, you can clear the board for $14. They're still all $2 a piece. Uh, and we'll be back at 7.30. I've got everybody's requests here. Billy Bob, you get the board for $14. we will see everybody at 7.30. See ya. Thank you.